What is up, everyone? Welcome to the No Life Gaming Show. Episode, I want to say episode 20, right? Are we on episode 20? Hold on, I'm in the wrong Twitter account. Whoops, we're going to have to, uh, you can look at my Twitter account for now until I fix that off screen so you can't see me log in. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, we got a lot of, not too much news. There wasn't too much stuff, anything crazy that has popped up over the last week. Uh, there's some gaming news. We've been playing a few things, so we're going to talk about some gaming, uh, and then we're going to get into some tech news, which is basically dominated by the Google event, which released the Pixel Book, the Pixel 2, Pixel 2 XL, a couple other Google stuff. We'll get into that. And then on our deep topics, uh, I want to talk about uh, the Rice Gum Content Cup. I want to talk about loot boxes. There's a whole loot box fiasco going on since the release of um, Star Wars Battlefront's beta. And then I want to talk about how hilarious it was, how Mike Pence went to a football game and then immediately left it. So we'll get into that a little bit later. For now, let's bring on the crew. What is up, crew? What up? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up, man? Anything new? What's good? Chilling. Chilling. No. Plotting, planning this whole apartment. How I'm gonna set it up, and that's about it. You're dreaming Dude, of your that's man always, cave. <sighs> that's always no, the worst I'm more thing. Dreaming of how much money I'm gonna have to spend at IKEA. <laughs> yeah, dude, go to the thrift store. That's how I would when I would get a new apartment and I would need uh, furniture. I would just go to the thrift store and get some cheap, mm -hmm. shitty furniture, and then later replace it. Now, I I just don't want to replace it yeah just go to ikea dude 20 bucks for a bed you can't beat it <laughs> it's just like a couple pieces of cotton on like some toothpicks and you're good to go it looks nice though no. it does look nice. it looks very chic it's not comfortable <laughs> but it's chic no honestly it's nice and slick yeah the biggest thing i'm buying from there is actually just wooden boxes just oh. li literal wooden boxes <laughs> to spray paint black <laughs> No, we oh. bought a uh, one thing that we didn't buy from IKEA was the couch, and yeah, I, it's I'm a nice purchase. But I think I'm gonna need to buy a new couch soon. Um, that's my don't. Uh, couches, couches are just, are just like, expensive, if you, man. If you don't spend yeah. good money on a couch, you just have to replace it because the yep. cushions and, and shit and just turns into shit. Because I was and, looking, I've been looking at IKEA for some couches, and I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna have to spend probably seven hundred to be happy. Yeah, and that's on the or you can end. just go to a thrift store. Yeah, and, and then you got like, and get a couch. And then your couch and, smells like yeah. a fucking old dead guy for about a year. Not if you clean it. Oh man, I don't know. Not only that, but it's like thrift stores are temporary solutions. I mean, they're not that's supposed true, to be man. like you're not supposed to be like true. buying your 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 dream furniture. <laughs> your true. what you want your apartment to look like out of a thrift store. It's you're supposed to use it out of necessity. That's what yeah. you need to use it for. If that or clothes. Do you guys watch uh like HGTV and like how they like no. fix too much and stuff like that? Man, my, I love that. My channel. mom is addicted to the DIY network. Oh, I, I, me and Kate watch that shit all the time. When you what's guys get mean, older, what's the two brothers? What's never, the show the two brothers? I will, I will say the that uh, that it's one's okay. Brothers. I was gonna say, yeah, Brody most brothers, of those yeah. though, <laughs> straight up, most of those don't take advice from them. The take Texas. it from no, take it from someone who's done contracting work. Don't ever take advice from half of those. Your first, first time, there's first time flippers. Yeah, like the the all. I mean, like the actual building shows. Those are good. The flip, the flipper shows, though. Yeah, they're none of those people oh, have yeah. no fucking idea what they're talking about. The people in Texas that like <laughs> buy like the house for like 150 bucks, throw it onto the bed of a truck, and then like re or it'll <laughs> so be bad. Like, it'll be like uh, what was that one meme where she was like, "Hi, I'm an organic beekeeper, and my husband uh, ties knots for a living." <laughs> We're looking for a house that's worth around, I don't know, 2.8 million. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? That's how it is, though. These people oh. are like, you're like, how can they afford this crazy houses? But I love it. I love that channel. That's such an underrated channel, especially for uh, young men. I'm pretty sure you can, act, if it's like Food Network, you might be able to even watch it for free. Oh, yeah? So now you can watch Food Network for free, and I'm pretty sure, though, it might be the same network, though. Don't quote me on that. It's just a good channel to put on when you like don't really want to watch TV. You just want to have it on and like kind of do something oh, on dude, or something. 
I love uh, I love like cooking shows. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so that's you- exactly that's exactly what 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 I do. Like if if I want to watch something, but I don't really want to watch something, yep. then I'll put on like a cooking show or some kind of cooking channel on YouTube and just binge watch it for a little Vice bit. Vice is yep. starting to get really good cooking shows on their channel too, which has been awesome. Like Munchies has always been awesome, but now they're adding like this pizza show, a couple other good cooking shows that I highly recommend. You know what? I'm glad died. I'm glad Epic Meal Time died. That show, like that I don't know whole about series, if it died, but yeah. I don't know if it died, but it's not. It's nowhere near as popular as it used to be. And you um, know what? I I kind of credit them for over, for like destroying the the niceness of bacon. <laughs> they overused you know, you, bacon you, so much to the point where like it just the craze. Ooh, no, it, it, you think that started the craze of how we now have bacon toothpaste craze. that is absolutely the most horror shit in the fucking world. <laughs> Bacon yeah, scented candles, like I don't think they started the craze, but they were definitely proponents of it. Yeah, because I really don't honestly like I'm a fat guy and I still don't give a shit about bacon. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, like I don't even bacon. give. I don't even slightly care about bacon. Bacon's okay. I'm it's not about bacon. To, I'm not about it's to stick right. my dick in bacon. <laughs> yeah, dude. People people freak out way too much about bacon. But the thing is, is like I think it's just fake anyway. Like. People just do yeah. that just to be funny anyway. Yeah, it's, like Star- nobody... it's like Star Wars. Like people yeah. go crazy for Star Wars. It's like Star <laughs> Wars Spe- is cool, but it's speaking not speaking about cool. Star Wars. I don't know, dude. Uh, uh, take that back. Take that back. Tickets go on, back. Sale. Some tickets people, go on sale yeah. tonight. If you're, you're a gonna super have, Star you're gonna have Wars some fan, people outside your house. Watching. If you're a super Star Wars fan, I didn't mean to offend you. Just take it down a notch, right? Trust me, they probably already bought their tickets. We've all seen watching the halftime trailer. Because the trailer comes out at halftime of the football game. Well, Damn. I do want to talk about Star Wars Battlefront 2. I was going to say, yeah. I want to yeah. talk about FIFA 18 on the Switch. Uh, I didn't record any gameplay, basically, because uh, uh, it's just such, such a hassle to record off of your fucking Switch. So um, I'm going to bring up some like stock FIFA 18 Switch footage so you guys can see the gameplay. But, oh, man... Oh man, if there's a game that this is probably the first Switch game that that um I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I love this game. It's so good. It's so good. They tuned the gameplay in a way or the graphics, I should say, in a way so it runs flawlessly on the Switch. 60 frames per second all the time. The controls just work the way it's supposed to work with the, like the tiny little Switch controllers. Um very fluid. They have ultimate team, which is what I've been playing. And having ultimate team in your pocket is just so fucking awesome. I'm so happy with this, like, uh, I don't know, gimped version of FIFA 18. Because there, there is still a lot of stuff that they kind of leave out that is on, like, the more heavier consoles like PS4 and Xbox. But that stuff I really don't care about anyway. I kind of just want to play FIFA and I want to do my ultimate team. And I want to be able to play other ultimate teams, and you could do that on the Switch version, and it just makes it, it just makes it just a, a really enjoyable experience. I highly recommend anyone who's a sports fan or anyone who is just, uh, yeah, like a, just a sports fan, definitely think about picking this one up. It is a sixty dollars Switch game. It's very expensive in terms of like I guess Switch games, but you do get a lot for your money if you enjoy soccer. If you enjoy. Uh, sports games but uh it's a it's phenomenal i will say though that um it it does the because the controller there's a lot of like nuance with fifa especially with the right stick and that stuff is kind of left out like you don't get exactly all of the the handling abilities that you can with the the bigger versions that i don't know why they left that out of this one because you can absolutely do it with the little switch cons but for some reason or what do they call it joy cons but for some reason they kind of they kind of gimped that aspect a little bit too much a little bit more than i think was necessary by the way this is footage from uh switch force on youtube um overall though overall it's a real blast to play and just having ultimate team in your pocket is just it's awesome i want them to do it with all the sports games i want madden i want nhl i want all of them i haven't played 2k uh, 18 yet the basketball one but I, after playing this i'm probably going to get 2k 18 because uh, just having like these little sports games in your pocket it's perfect i went to um 
uh, my friend's house who's moving. He just moved in in Philadelphia, and uh, he's a he's a fan too. And we can just pop up the switch and just play on the little Joy Cons on that tiny little screen. It's a little bit much, but I guess at all games are a little bit much on that little screen with the little controllers. It's still fun though. It's still a little party game with um, you know real FIFA access to it. So highly highly recommend it. And that's all I really need to say about it right now. Pick it up if you like sports or if you like FIFA. If you don't, then you probably aren't going to enjoy it too much because really the 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 most enjoyable part is that ultimate team. And you need to know soccer. You need to know the players. And you need to know uh, kind of how to build the team for you to enjoy that ultimate team. If you just want to play like a soccer game for Switch, I don't know, maybe this is a good pickup or maybe you can wait till it's on sale. But right now it's all about just like ultimate team in your pocket. Uh, it's a perfect kind of game to play as a commute or, you know, kind of just run, run and gun. Having super fun with it. So, yeah, I don't have yeah. too much else I'm, to say about I'm that. Not, I'm not surprised that, you know, the first sports game on the Switch is FIFA because right. they're not going to take the time to put NHL or, you know, Madden on there first because, let's be honest, those don't really sell in Europe and Japan. Right. Soccer is big in Europe, Japan, and somewhat rising in America. So enough that their sales are definitely worth the risk. Right. And it was a first attempt. So down it. the line, you might start to see more of those features. The fact that you can't play online with your friends, you have to play local. Uh, I don't think that's anything on really EA side. I think that's Nintendo... I think Nintendo needs to work once they get that uh, online services up and running. Maybe the next set of sports games will have that online activity part. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a first. It's a first. You know, the Wii U really didn't have sports games. The Wii was a joke for sports games. So yeah, it's never been a sports platform. Never. Um, Not since uh, like except for like Mario oh my Tennis God. or like Mario uh, Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky on on the SNES. Oh, I don't know. I never played that. One. Oh man, that's a great game. I I I think they did. I was worried about them gimping the game a little bit. I was, and, and it was kind of why I didn't pick it up at first. I was like, do I want to pay the same amount of money for a gimped version of the game that I can take with me, or should I just pay for the full version on PS4, Xbox, or whatever? and have like the full FIFA experience. But I, I went with the Switch because I thought I'm not that big of a soccer fan where I constantly play FIFA all the time. So this was perfect to just play as a mobile game. And I actually prefer them kind of gimping it. And they also speed up the game a little bit. So it's a little bit faster. And there's a lot more of an, not a lot more, but there's definitely an arcade feeling to the game. And I so much prefer that in a mobile kind of platform. Because like I said, you're playing on the go a lot. I don't play my Switch often. And when I do, I want to be able to get in and out. And that's what they did with this game. And uh, I, I really want them to do with the other sports games, specifically Madden. I would love Madden with an ultimate team in my pocket in a more arcade version of the game. I think that do would be you, awesome. Do you still have full uh, franchise mode too? I th like think you that? have like a career mode and the ultimate team is like your franchise sort of mode thing um but you don't ha i don't think you have like a full-on uh franchise mode but i could be wrong no oh yeah because okay. i, know, I could I also they... be a soccer too so i don't know if that they normally have a franchise mode but that yeah. would be that would be a deal breaker yeah. for me because if you don't have franchise mode that's what i play like if you have franchise mode then you have the complete game to me pretty yeah, much I think for sports the big, games the big mode that they were missing was that like the way that EA is trying to do their sports games, they have like a story mode. Like the Madden had a story mode, the long shot. And and there was that. no story mode. So, yeah, yeah not, not in the Switch version, which is fine. Right. You know, that's take that or leave it. I don't really think that matters. Yeah, they have like a... It's not, it's not like a franchise mode. It's like a career mode, but it is on the Switch. And, and then you have the Ultimate Teams, which is... I mean, essentially a franchise because you play the seasons, you play all the different uh, the different battles that they have on there, um, and then you have career, which basically pits you against you know running up to the FIFA Cup. Uh, so overall, it overall I I I can't recommend it to everyone because it's still a sports game and it's just it's just a soccer game. But if you like sports games, you'll love you'll love this one, uh, and I know that a lot of people 
who have a Switch who enjoy FIFA agree. This is like a great port of the game. And just because that they made it for the Switch just makes it so much more intact because I was afraid it was going to be a bad port. I was afraid the Gint version of it was just going to make it like a dummy a dumbed down version of the game, but they didn't do that. They actually made it work I mean, really well. Yeah, it's, what I can tell that is that is just a complete franchise mode, no matter what game you like, what version you buy. So if, if that that's gold to me, then yeah, the Switch that's is what proving play. the Switch is proving that the gimmick of taking taking your game on the go is something that a lot of people want. Absolutely, we're slowly turning into Japan, but hey, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's dude, been just follow happening. follow Apple anyway. But uh. Does it have a superstar mode where it builds a narrative that has nothing no. to do with soccer, though? <laughs> no, 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 God. thank God. Yeah, <laughs> thank the fucking Lord. I will can say, I can uh, I also have the Diablo mode? Can I just <laughs> can I just be the super character and all my skills are at ninety nine out of ninety nine? And um, yeah, <laughs> I will say that there's just something about playing games in your bed, like on your bed with a thing in your hand. Like, I guess it's the reason why a lot of people like the 3DS. Cause Dude, you've got to just sit exactly on the ground. I mean, maybe, I maybe, say, I should, maybe I should just I do with my 3DS. <laughs> maybe I should just invest in a switch then because of those days that I have crippling depression and don't want to leave the bed. Yeah. I, exactly. I can just, I can just switch game through the sadness. How, how do you think I play all of my 3DS games? I yeah. played them in bed. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I play through. my Switch when I'm laying on the couch or in bed <laughs> I, or when I'm running around and I want to bring it through, right. through blurry what? tiered vision. You need to get like, <laughs> you know, those like those hospital, you know, the, like the hospital TV VESA mounts. Yeah. You just need to get one of those so you can just bring your Switch right over your bed. You'll just stay <laughs> I, there. Dude, they they have them because it it's the same ones that tablets use. Of course use. they do. It's yeah. the same ones that tablets use. So you, you just have attach one, it to your side of your bed. Grab the Joy Cons off, put it in front of your face. You have one of those? I don't have one of those. We gotta get you one. <laughs> I need That's to get one of those. <laughs> All right, yeah. So uh, FIFA 18 for the Switch, highly recommend if you're a sports fan. Uh, and then one more game that I want to quickly talk about is this mobile game that I don't know how long it's been out. Uh, and you're probably gonna be like a mobile game. What the hell, dude? This game Crossy Road is so fucking addicting, and I cannot stop playing it. I've been playing this game more than I've been playing. Anything. Is is that, is that, is that Frogger? Flappy Bird? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's Frogger Flappy Bird. No, it's yeah, just it's Frogger. been out for a while. It's just it's, yeah. Frogger, Frogger, but it's so fucking <laughs> fun. And there's like different like people you can get like. So you're basically a chicken Frogger, and you go across this like pixelated world, but you can get unlock different other like characters, and you can get like a space chicken, and then you're in space Frogger world, or you're in uh, you can unlock this. This is one character called Michael Boom, and you unlock him by running into this train. And it's basically you're, you play as Michael Bay, and there's like lens flares on the screen, and everything explodes all the time. It's just a hilarious, fun little mobile game. And one thing that I think is super, I don't want to say innovative, but I think it's a good way that they implemented ads into this is that there's basically no ads unless you want to watch the ads. Because then they give you like uh, 20 coins or something if you watch the ad, and then you can use that to, uh, to purchase players. So, like, every once in a while, if I'm not playing, I can just watch a quick ad, like, and then type a text message or uh, use something on the computer, and then I got like, you know, twenty coins real quick. So I think it's that's a, a cool way to implement Twitch, ads. It's that Twitch Bits model. You can yeah, get bits exactly. To donate to streamers by watching ads. Yeah, it, I, I highly recommend this mobile game. It's free. Go pick it up. It's it's just a fun little that, yeah. cute little game. That's been around on some mobile games for ever. That's how Twitch found it. Yeah, I don't know how this, long this game's been out, but it's, I'm sure it's been out a while. I'm sure. I'm, uh, this segment I'm has been brought has been sponsored content for Crossy Roads. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I'm, it's been a long. It's been since I was probably born that I've heard someone so excited about Frogger. <laughs> well, I I've been getting more into mobile games because Kate plays this mobile game all the time. I don't know what it's called. She calls it Bubbles, and it's basically like a it's basically Candy Crush. Is that what you're? It's kind of like Candy. What's that game where you shoot the fucking orbs and you have to match the orbs? It's that game. Bust a move. Yeah, bust a move. It's basically uh. bust a move, but for women, I guess. Uh, <laughs> and then I. <laughs> and I'm so I'm so curious so as candy, to why like, she just... enjoys it so much. So I've been downloading mobile games, trying to capture some of that emotion. And so far, I have it with Crossy Road. Super super big fan. All right. So in this in this game, 
are you like shooting out Jim Leahy? It's like that who you're shooting out. You're just like shooting Jim Leahy and all no. the little things are Ricky. No, I wish that then I'd play it. I would absolutely play that game. Trailer park bubbles. Uh Total Warhammer Warhammer Total War Warhammer 2. You want to talk about yeah, that? Yeah, I do cuz it's fucking fantastic, but it is a terrible title cuz I know I've been struggling with that too. <laughs> of just like Total War 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 Hammer War. I guess just Total Warhammer Hammers. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is there a, another War. Warhammer 2 though? Probably no, there's a Total it. War Warhammer. Are you okay. thinking are you So there's a first one and then there's a Warhammer 2 now? For the Total War games, but there's Warhammer, and then there's also Warhammer 40k. Oh, that's and that whole yeah. yeah. And then there's Dawn of War. And then Dawn of Warhammer, and then nah. Dawn of Warhammer 2, and then Dawn of Warhammer <laughs> yeah. Total War 2. There you go. But uh, this is this is based off of the original Warhammer stuff, which I'm not huge on, but it's kind of fun. It's more just it's a really well thought out, fun Total War game. If you're into Total War games, it's not as it's not the pinnacle of Total War games, but if you've never really played a Total War game, this is a really good one to get into. It's a lot of the things in the beginning are simplified and they just make a lot more sense than like the old days of Rome t- or like Rome 2 or like even Medieval 2 where you'd have to like, I mean, if you just jumped in, you would have no fucking idea what the hell is going on. It would, you'd spend 10, you know, you'd spend a couple of hours, like, trying to figure out how to play the fucking game, basically. But, like, this is very intuitive, and it's just a lot of fun. There's four camp, well, there's four races, and each one has two commanders. So there's eight total, like, campaigns at right now at launch. And knowing Total War, there's going to be eight DLCs for it that all cost $15 a piece. <laughs> but uh, it's supposed to orig- eventually it's going to work with Total War 1, which is actually kind of cool. So if you already have Total War 1, they're working out a cross campaign. So all of the factions will work in one big campaign, which I think is pretty cool. So that's why some people are saying it's kind of like an expansion, which I kind of get. But the way most of the units are broken down, it's really easy to jump into like uh there's high elves which i haven't really played with much but i'm thinking of doing a playthrough of that seem pretty good most of their units especially their ranged units are really effective so that's kind of a fun play style versus like dark elves which i mean it sounds like ooh elves and elves well the dark elves rely a lot more on magic which is a different mechanic they also have this slaves mechanic and set for their resources so like when you defeat an army normally in the older games basically you would be like cool i'm gonna try to get characters back i'm gonna get units back and some money well with dark elves half of it's based off of slaves too so you get money you get units and then you also take slaves and you have to use the slaves to power the rights and like some of the other units and stuff like that and it's kind of a cool just additional mechanic um there's also the lizard men which are actually pretty cool uh, some of their units are really strong because they're all like dinosaurs and crazy things like that. But like one of their cooler features too is if normally in Total War, you're you're all unit based. It's like units of like say a hundred you know people in this little army is your unit. If that starts getting beaten up, it's going to eventually run away. Well, some of the lizard people they will just go berserk and just try to they they won't run away they'll just keep fighting you can't control them you can no longer control them they will just keep fighting to the death and like get super crazy bonuses and can just overpower like entire other armies while just being in this berserk stance and then there's finally skaven which are these rat dudes who are like have a lot of really cheap unit that just are trying like they're supposed to swarm but they got some other cool mechanics where you can like bury underneath the ground and pop up in the middle of like other people's armies. There's other like neat little things they can do with like almost more like ninja tech. Like they're almost like ninja tactics with their more powerful. A lot of them are based off of like hiding your powerful units and using them at the right time while just swarming them with stupid cheap units. So Sounds it's like- kind of cool. They all, they all got a good amount of diversity. Sounds like Zerg rushing. Sounds like kinda, Zerg. yeah, kinda. It definitely got some 
uh, inspiration there. Is this an RTS? But, sorta. It's grand strategy. So like, um, there's a campaign it? map. It's, it's a com. It's a combo. See what it is? Is it, there's there is a campaign map where you have cities. And there's like some very minor building management in there where you have to keep populate you like your public order doing well and stuff like that. And then you're moving your armies around. But when you get to the battles, it's an RTS basically. It's a tactical RTS where it's all unit based, like something like com uh, Company of Heroes instead of like StarCraft. Like every every actual unit that you control is really a hundred dudes but you can use them to make formations and stuff. You can hide them and they all have like special abilities and stuff like that. And I, dude, it's been a blast. Like it's been one of the better total war games that have come out since probably Attila in my opinion, because I also really liked Attila, but I know some people hated it. This is a game I've never played. I've never played any of those games. Oh, you've never played any of the Total War games? I highly recommend them. Uh, my favorite was actually Shogun 2. Mm. I really like Shogun 2. Yeah, I kind of want to check them out. I, I, I want to get into one of these kind of games, like these grand strategy games like Civ 6 or, or like this. Well, um, there you go. I would yeah. Laundry done? <laughs> <laughs> So the it's okay. You can probably you can probably hear my dog whining because yeah, he's outside the room, and I'm trying to like. Uh. <laughs> but uh, I was like, I'm wait, gonna... did, you, did Jerry has a dog? I had no idea he had a dog. I got a I dog. Thought, and two I, thought cats. It was, I thought it was your dog, Wayne. I thought it was like, oh, he brought River to the office. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, no, I got a little I got a little beagle and then two cats. Bring him on the I'm screen, not... dude. I want to see the little guy. No, oh, he's out there. All right, fine. I'm uh, well. I'm gonna say this really quick before my dryer goes off again because for some reason. My dryer beeps twice. Anyway, yeah, I know. It's fucking logical, right? It's like, done, not really. Almost done. Now we're done. Anyway, um, it's. I think that the Total War games are a really good uh, series to get into if you're looking to get into grand strategy games because it does still give you that RTS, that right. action, and that, that strategy in that, in that uh, sense. But it's not like too menu heavy, like Europa right. Universalis or Hearts of Iron or Crusader Kings. Like you yeah. still get the satisfaction of fighting armies and armies. And it, but it it's also not like yeah yeah it can also make a huge difference too because like you can you can totally win fights that normally you wouldn't win if it was a computer. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And actually, speaking of that, of auto resolve, they did make some big changes, which is kind of cool. The units can actually die now. Instead of just like a percentage cut off, which is kind of risky, but kind of cool. But I would say if you're going to, if you'd want to try one, I'd strongly recommend this one. Mostly because the, so far I've, I started playing about a hundred turns of two races. The cool thing I have noticed is for each of the races, um, they do have a little button you can click on that will launch a complete total beginner's campaign basically like it takes the normal campaign and it adds on probably about 10 turns of like a very well done tutorial of like walking you through you know this is what your character is but also this is how the game plays like this is what you're trying to do like it's a very well made tutorial that feels like it's actually fitting in with a story too mm -hmm. which i thought was pretty cool so I would, like if you want to try one i think the tutorial system and things like that are really fleshed out on this one which was pretty cool and made it i don't know it made it really ex more exciting at almost because it gave a good cool little mini story instead of some of the total war games they can definitely there's not a point to winning the campaign in most total war games because it's just like you have to make the story in some of them where it's just like otherwise you're just like yeah you're, here you go. You're a country. Um, just just take over the world. Yeah, it, just, it, just win. I mean, well, the, that's <laughs> yeah. It, that's kind of like Europa Universalis. Like, it's, there's yeah. literally no point. It's like, how do you win? Well, you don't really win. You just survive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but like it. this, this one, there is, there are a lot more little missions that pop up and like little quests and stuff that do give more guiding or like more of a guidance towards like an objective of what you're trying to do versus a lot of the older ones, which I thought was pretty cool. 
and the combat system in this one's great. So yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with it so far. Like, I'll see how I feel about it once I'm 200 hours in, like, the rest of Total War games, you know. But so far, dude, I've been having a blast. Nice. 200 hours. Jesus Christ. Is that how long, like, a campaign would be? No, that was a couple. Oh, okay. All right, but, another game that you're going to talk about. Star Wars 2 Battlefront. The game that has been catching the, the eyes and the ears of many gamers Round world. Well, I know, Doobie, I know you've been playing this too. Has any, any of you other guys been playing any of the beta? I, I have not been playing it yet. Um, and here's the footage from their gameplay. Uh, they, um, right. it was it's supposed over, to, right? no, it's not. They, they changed it? it, at least on PC, they changed it okay. so it's up till Wednesday now. It's up yeah, till Wednesday. the 11th now. <laughs> I'll check, I'll check PS4 later because I've been playing on PS4. Yeah, I, 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 def- say- I think it is because it, it's just on their website. It's not just PC. It's like it's literally just eight betas open till Wednesday. Word. I've been enjoying it, so it looks phenomenal. It's so phenomenal. much phenomenal. Dude, it's so much better than the first one. It's uh it's it, it has except the, it has um, major flaws. It gives but me a it's lot of definitely flashbacks. A lot better. It gives me a lot of flashbacks to the old Battlefront 2 in terms of just one more game. Let's gonna play one more and then I'm gonna go to bed. Four games later, I'm just gonna play one more and go to bed. Yeah, I was up to like four in the morning playing the other day. Yeah, no, I I stayed up till six a.m. today, and I was actually played about seven games with Elo Heim. Jesus, <laughs> like it's it, nice. It, yeah. One of my issues about the first one, yeah. the, the last game was like when you weren't doing well, it kind of sucked and there was the randomness of like getting heroes or getting vehicles. This one's like rewards you for playing well, but even when I'm having a bad game, I'm having fun. Yeah. Yeah. No, they, they nailed the fun factor on this one. Like it's, uh, it's a lot better than the first one so far. I think there's definitely still major issues with it, Mm -hmm. but the actual mechanics of it are really fleshed out. They're a lot better. It's, like the first one was fun, but I think this one's actually a little bit more fun, and it's it has to be, just because of <laughs> what we'll get into later. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, what is like what's what are new modes that they've come out with? Are they basically all the same. Pretty sure it's all the same. Like a conquest mode. I think there was like a just like a deathmatch mode. Just you know. Uh, um, the, the in the beta, you basically have that cam- campaign style map. You have a yeah campaign. St- you have a strike map, and you have a uh, star. You have the star battles, which those are really well done. They're hard. Like like I was getting better at them as I was playing, but man, there's a learning curve to, yeah. to them. What's and that's battle? that's actually a huge that from like the old games. That's actually the biggest new thing from it is they now have full star fights. So like, you know, you can jump in an X Wing and fight TIE fighters and stuff like that. Like yeah, it's just the, it's all just plane battle. Not yeah. planes, but spaceship battles. Like doing ships on like the Naboo map like was a waste of of like of like uh points. Credits. Yeah, totally. It was just a waste. Totally. There was no way to They're too fast. It's, it's too fast. You crash immediately. I, I didn't like that at all. They go but, too um, fast to like strafe anything or anything like that. Like you have to spend about five, not really, but it feels like you have to spend five minutes lining up a perfect shot to do like 20 points of damage, which is like a blaster shot. Yeah, it was, it's bad. Hmm. That, that needs to be worked on, of course. I mean, there's going to be there's going to be other maps um, when the game MTT, comes out that might be most better. overpowered. MTT. Just yeah. if you want to spend 400 points, just jump in that. Oh yeah, it's also fun when you're the one who actually just de- like defeats the MTT. It looks so good. Yeah, that's that the other thing, thing. Is it's beautiful. Uh, I'm playing on PS4. I'm not playing on Pro, and it, no problems. I never had any like lag. I never no like not that I could tell. Like there was never any point in the games when like my performance was was down. Is Would it, it look a lot better 60? on Pro? I'm. I mean, I'm not the one who's going to be able to say that from looking at it. That I'm not sure, but it. I didn't have any problems. PC, there's a little bit of netcode issues, but it's a lot better than the first one. Like it's. It's not bad enough to really 
make a huge difference. That's like you'll good. you will if you're if you don't have the best connection, you'll have some issues sometimes. But for the most part, it's pretty good. So the beta is yeah. extended to Wednesday for all systems. Word, I know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> it's dude, it's a lot of fun. I just wish they. All right, Fix so let's the talk shit. about the cons. Let's <laughs> talk about the, the issues here. So we know that the loot boxes is an issue. We're going to talk about that later. Um, but no, the, that's, uh, the, that's the fucking issue. <laughs> is that the only issue? That's like the biggest, like, most glaring by that far. That is the most glaring. All right, so basically... Because we, we'll, we'll, it's we're like the thing talk that, about it because that's yeah an entire topic. It's fine. It's, it's, it's just like it's... Uh, I'm, okay, I've, I've sunk about 10 hours. I still don't have a different gun. I'm Damn. still nowhere close. Yeah, I have, close I have different to guns. having a different gun. I have different guns, but I don't like have like I nearly enough crafting things. But we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. Yeah, this is a ten beta. hours. I have sixty fucking crafting points. Yeah, it That's took me crazy. like tw- like twelve hours before getting a hundred crafting. How much is a gun? Six hundred. <laughs> uh-huh. And then a hundred per like add on thing. You're gonna have and to you buy can't, it, dude. You- and you can't make add-ons to the base guns, only the ones you yeah, crafted. Only, yeah, <laughs> of course. Duh. Yeah, I was lucky in some of my in my my loots where I got like the gun in the loot, but that's not common. That's such a shame, no, man. That's I've such I've a had shame. My average, I've I've and never had no anything more than which yeah. is a, 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 like I like that there's no microtransactions, but oh, there will be though. There's I wouldn't be surprised if they wind up adding it in. No, they're going micro to microtransactions. Like you just pay for something. You have to pay. You have to play to get credits to get loot boxes. You don't. You can't just. Oh pay no, for that, loot boxes. I'm pretty sure they're gonna roll it out as you can pay for it. Oh, I, mean, I thought, yeah, I thought that you could pay planned. for for uh, like money to no. buy loot boxes. Not in the beta. Not in the beta but, oh, not. But in I mean, and there's in there's, the there's, game. I think you can. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I, they're gonna add I don't that. know. I, I don't know if I've heard that yet, but I can't. I don't want to say yes. I think yes that was one of the arguments it. about one of the arguments about that they were talking about. Before. But th- dude, the problem with the first one was there felt like there was no real progression. They didn't do it right. It was really just you're playing. It, it, it was fun. It was absolutely fun. That's not fixed. Yeah, it was so fun, and there was a lot of. It was great being in the, like that Star Wars Star World Star Wars World. That's fucking hard to say. Star Wars World. Um, except there was like no real meaning to keep doing things. It was all multiplayer. You just you were just playing it to play it. So I was hoping in this one that they fixed that and that they gave you a nice like ton of RPG elements. Go with Call of Duty style. Let you fucking trick out your your troopers. Let you trick out all your different characters. Tr- trick out your guns. It, it looks like. That's not changed, and now you have to do this loot box system. It, see, it would have it would have been okay, in my opinion, is if they would have done two credits, two credit sources, or like two inco- two point sources. You can spend your money on loot box, your points on loot boxes, to get star cards and all the other like cool things, and then you still have you just gain crafting resources. Right. You don't have to roll the dice to see if you get crafting resources and that's like another that, thing it should have been two it should have been two systems that was another point too that they brought up was that you the person who does the best on your team and the person who does the worst you both get the same amount of credits after the match which is fucking stupid but this is just beta maybe this is just beta stuff to gate people and to kind of test out certain excuse me certain things i'm not sure but we'll talk about that a little bit later let's jump into news <laughs> news that was uh, <laughs> that was my little God. Uh, God damn it. the that news pretty, bump that was pretty good right mm. cyberpunk 2077 is in trouble this is not good i was super excited for this game five years yeah, after the too. announcement the rpg and development from cd project red the guys who make one of the greatest games ever made witcher 3 may take even more time to be released there are still no certain dates and the last update the studio in charge of it gave was a brief resurgence during a financial presentation the recent shifts however point out that some of the essential staff working on it abandoned or temporarily switched from the unfinished game god damn man yeah they're saying that there's no financial issue but like i don't know the senior art director like in this little article 
they're telling you basically uh, who left and what they're working on now. And the yeah. very last one is the senior art director, or sen- senior art producer, and the thing next to him is like he is currently unemployed. And that's not very I, good. I have. Yeah, three that, words. that seems like some financial cutbacks to me. That doesn't <laughs> seem have, like somebody just I have, leaving. I have three words for you Half Life 3. <laughs> Maybe. Dude, I'm going to be so sad if this, this game's never because coming I've out. been looking forward to this game ever since they announced it. I know, and I me played too. Witcher 3. Me too, man. I played it's Witcher shit. 3 and I was like, oh, what else are these guys doing next? And it's like Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk 2077. I was like, dude, that sounds so legit. Yeah. Sounds so badass. And then, it's and then been you were so like, long. oh, wait, it's it, I have to wait four years. And now it's like, oh, wait, I might even have to wait longer now. Thank you. Yeah, this is hopefully this isn't like the new Duke Nukem Forever. I'd I kill myself, not. dude. Well, I don't understand. <laughs> How is CG, CD Projekt Red not able to finish this game? That studio, I understand it's like a smaller studio, but dude, Witcher 3 was such a big project. Maybe they went too big for this one. You know what I mean? Where it, well, deadlines, they were just like, fuck, we're not going to be able to hit none of these deadlines. Maybe we should just delay it till next, next generation, you know? It wouldn't be out of the question because the scope and size of Witcher 3 is pretty much crazy for what the team was able to do. And I can only imagine them wanting to go bigger on this one. There was so much hype behind it, even from just like a fucking 10 second trailer. I can only imagine with a role playing game set in a futuristic open world, it's going to be a gigantic game. So maybe that's what happened here. And the money's starting to dwindle. No one's no one's hitting deadlines. Maybe they're just like, maybe we have to can this for a little bit. I'm kind of sad. It's kind of that's uh, really disappointing. Yeah, it sucks. But honestly, it's it's one. It's, it's that if it hits a five year point, it's kind of like shit. Yeah, it's not yeah. going to come out. Yeah, and there's nothing to show for it right now. Or it's, it's going like to be Duke like, Nukem. Yeah, it's not like they have any like thing to show for it. No one knows anything about this game. <laughs> it sucks. I don't know, man. Yeah, we saw that one trailer, and that's about it. But uh, I think they said that there's like tons of job listings. Maybe I'll get hired. Or uh, <laughs> I'd love to work for them. They should so, just pull an Overwatch. Dude, maybe they need someone to make a podcast for their game, and we can do that. <laughs> nah, dude, they're just gonna they're gonna pull an Overwatch. They're gonna realize that Project Titan, I mean Cyberpunk, has failed, and now they're just gonna take the assets and make projects. <laughs> Moba cyber game. watch <laughs> cyber watch well let's just hope michael steck the senior art producer who is currently unemployed gets a job quite soon because it's it's, yeah. it's hard out there it's hard in these streets moving on activision promises anti-cheat measure measures for cod world war ii um i mean they live up onto these promises yeah, i was about to say uh fucking i'd hope so <laughs> they shouldn't like, why is this even a story it should either be yeah, sure. they lived up to them or they didn't live up to them yeah, it's like, shouldn't every competitive video game try to enforce yeah. some kind of anti-cheating measure? Looking at you, Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, there was actually... Oh, that was another game I played recently. I forgot to talk about that. That's a fun game. Yeah, dude, yeah. that's what we were talking about last week. It's yeah. a lot of fun, but it's a fun th- game. they're getting hit by cheaters, is all I'm saying. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's a, a, there was an article saying that the developers did come out and say that they've been working on the unreal engine and also that they were going to crack down a little bit more on uh cheaters or they're trying to crack down a little bit more on cheaters i don't understand why uh all i'm saying is why anybody would be cheating in that game anyway because there's (laughs) no there's nothing to gain from winning there's just like oh i won same reason why people cheat in all of them dude that's that's why you cheat in most of them you're just like haha what dick i wonder if there's been cheating on uh, the consoles because i've been playing on ps4 and I haven't noticed it at all yet, but I've only played like maybe a couple hours. I didn't dive too much into it. It's definitely, fun, definitely a lot less than on a free to play PC game. I yeah. think because <laughs> cheat engine is a thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, the game suffers a little bit from like being too much like PUBG, which makes me like I played on like kind of want to play PUBG you know what I mean I kind of I kind of get that vibe going with it it's fun though to like to like just I don't know I don't take it too seriously have a 20 minute game yeah I don't take like it you too win a 20 minute game and you're like yeah that's good I'm happy yeah, exactly I guess that's they should just focus more on that and 
You know, they got to crack down on their cheaters is all I'm saying, or else PUBG's going to because they'll hit them with another angry twit longer. <laughs> all right, next story. Which of three PS4 Pro patches out and uh, it's currently being downloaded right now on my computer oh, on my PS4 Pro. Uh, and I was looking oh, at the Foundry stuff on it and uh, it looks... It looks really good on PS4 Pro from what I've been seeing on like Digital Foundry. If it's just really just like a, a resolution upgrade, I'm probably not going to run through another Witcher 3 playthrough just because it's got a little bit of a resolution upgrade. But uh, Yeah, but it'd be it. nice to yeah, it'd be nice to just run around and look and see how good things look because yeah, in my opinion, exactly. The Witcher 3 is a beautiful game anyway. Yeah. No, it's like, gorgeous, yeah. <laughs> Like I remember, you remember when it first came out, people were upset because they said that they were hyping it at E3, the graphics, and that yep. the graphics weren't as good. And, and then it's, when I found it's literally because people couldn't power it to play the yeah. good graphics. Exactly. <laughs> so. Yeah. Or then then they released like that E3 patch, which made it like look like this trailer where they like desaturated it and gave it like Michael Bay bloom shit on it. Uh. I will say though, I want to see how it runs. It looks like it runs well. It or it says here today patch is available, brings 4K resolution to Witcher 3 PS4 Pro and a slight boost to the performance. Um, so it doesn't say the exact resolution. I guess it's 4K, which is crazy to me. Maybe like 4K medium to high on PC. I'm not sure, but I play it on my PC and I can't hit 4K. My PC is times times better than my PS4 Pro. No, that's what but, I was gonna say. It's like yeah. Like even even now, people are still not truly seeing what The Witcher is. I think just because they're like, yeah, you can have a 1080 Ti, yeah, and a still. beefy fucking CPU, and you're still like, I can't really do it. It's like the benchmark for gaming. Like if you want to run like your a hardcore game, you gotta run Crisis. <laughs> it's, I was gonna <laughs> say it's the modern Witcher day Crisis. Yeah, yeah, dude. It, it, it takes a lot to power up the way. It Better should. uh was it Rise of the Tomb Raider? Yeah, but yeah, that's <laughs> dude, that's actually a benchmark is Rise of the Tomb Raider. That's one of the oh, yeah. benchmark yeah. games. Yeah. yeah, but um, I think that uh, this probably runs at not even a stable thirty frames a second. I imagine you're gonna have dips. I don't know. I saw it on Digital Pro. Foundry and it seemed pr- to run pretty nice. But if it runs at a stable thirty, I'll be happy. Um, which is crazy to say, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, I mean, for console. Yeah, that's all you can exactly. hope for is stable console, 30 on stable console. Stable 30, I'm happy. Or if they give you allow, allow you to go to like 1080 and then run it at 60, I would much prefer that, to be honest. Because it's still a great, gorgeous game. It's nah, dude. 1080p. I need 40. I need, okay, I need 4K at 30 frames with HDR. All right. Yeah. Dude, HDR does look nice. I, I, I have become a believer in HDR technology. SNES which, Classic. speaking of which, th- that's, that. yeah, never mind. I was just going to say, please, hey, NVIDIA, just please, please, you know, help us out, bro. Can you just make some of those G-Sync HDR panels you've promised for like two years now? <laughs> I don't any, know. Any time now? Do we know why they can't make them? Not really. It's just Is it the way it like, I don't know, yeah. Pairs up with the tech? I don't know. I think so, yeah. It's got to be, right? Because like it's been, you've like, okay, most computers, you've been able to do HDR for forever. You've the games have been coding for HDR for like a couple of years now. You just you, there's no panels. There's yeah. none. There's it's, no it's, panels. It's, HDR is really just like a, a color technology. It's really yeah. nothing to do with anything other than the color of this, the the vibrancy of the LEDs and how they react. I don't know. SNES Classic has been hacked. Update. Uh, Jerry, you want to show your uh, little Raspberry Pi again? And put that up there. Yeah, one second. It's gonna make noise. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. go. He has to show that every time we talk about that's the SNES the, Classic. That's the that's the thirty dollar SNES Classic. There you go. Right there. It does look nice. I will say that. Yes, you gotta does. put a little like SNES sticker on it or something. Like yeah. Legit. But um, yeah, I mean, it's hacked in the fact that you can upload your own ROMs now. Which yeah. is kind of cool, like being able yeah. to play whatever ROM you want to with an SNES controller. Hell yeah. And, like you uh, could with a regular Raspberry Pi. Yeah, the <laughs> update, the update, anyway, 
Anyway, the update is basically just the update to the article is basically just they have a newer, easier version of doing it now. Because the oh, nice. way that they originally found out, they said it's kind of it kind of feels weird or like it seems kind of sketchy the way that you had to do it. Yeah, here the article says the above video gives a detailed rundown of everything you need to know to add a copy of ActRaiser or whatever other game you're missing to the system. But be warned, this isn't a simple process. You also run the risk of breaking your console and it's not like you're going to be able to buy a new one if that happens. Um, so I guess they make it, made it a little easier with this update that they added with hack 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 G2 that has been released. If, you, if you're a lucky person with a SNES Classic, definitely try this out. Let us know how it goes. Is that like Hitachi's like alter ego brand? Hack G. Hack -tack -G. Dust and Elysian Tail creator reveals Metal Gear Solid inspired Switch game. Uh, All right. So the Dust game is actually a fun game. It's a really good game. The only thing that I couldn't get past is it's a little bit furry, if you know what I mean. Oh, damn. A little bit of a furry game. Oh, but, uh, like, I don't know. Like, every time I play a game like that, I'm like, every time. Like, the internet has ruined me because every time, like, the main character and every other characters in the universe are just, like, weird humanoid animals. Like, I'm always a little bit sketched out by it. You <laughs> know what I mean? Wait until, just wait until like, DeviantArt gets a hold like, of it. And then what it's are the like, real oh, motives behind this <laughs> game? Yeah. yeah, like, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, uh, I don't know about this one. <laughs> yeah. But the game but, the game is fun. Like, the original Dust game, it's fun. So, I, I'm actually kind of looking at this. It looks like Never cool. Stop Sneaking, right? Yeah, it looks good, except for the one f the one frame in that trailer where the furry ca ish character that Loco's describing is also holding a plunger. <laughs> yeah, this uh, I don't know. I'll probably pass on this Switch game. Oh no, I'm talking about I'm talking about the Dust game. The Dust game is full furry. It's, it's full furry. It's not, yeah, full furry. Yes, it it you got it's, it's, a full it's a good game. Furry. Completely full furry. Furry. <laughs> Next. But no, it's a the original one was good. Anyway, yeah. Street Fighter Five Arcade Edition is provoking some heated reaction. Do y'all even read? This is out of Games Radar. Um, do you want me to do a quick rundown on why people yeah, are upset no, about it? I'm trying to figure All out right. exactly what's going on. Here. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was about to say you're probably <laughs> trying to scan through it real quick. All right, so basically, the new arcade edition that's going to be coming out, the new Street Fighter Five arcade edition, is going to bring a couple of uh, game modes. It's like the generic Capcom Street Fighter, new Street Fighter game. It's going to bring a couple of um, Marvel uh, versus Capcom. Yeah, exactly. It's going to bring a couple of new uh, fighting modes, and it's also going to bring all of the previous DLC characters are going to become standard characters, and it's going to be like $40. The original version of Street Fighter V, uh, it's going to get an update, and but in the update, the only thing that you're going to be able to get is the game modes and the new V triggers that they're putting into the game for all the characters. Like, you're not going to be able to access, you're not going to get the dlc characters and that's why people them? are upset yeah that, that's why people are upset i mean i can kind of understand that uh you're not going to just give dlc characters to uh the previous owners because what about the people that actually bought the dlc characters what do they get but on the other hand street fighter 5 was so shitty <laughs> was it it was, yeah, dude, it was so bad. When it launched, it was fucking terrible, dude. Like, you couldn't play games with people. It was I remember ridiculous. the netcode issues was, that people were having. It was bare bones as fuck. Yeah, it was bare bones as fuck, dude. They were like, yeah, in the new Street Fighter V, you're going to be able to have a story mode, and it's going to be deep, and it's going to be so good. And when they released it, it felt like it was like an early access game. Ooh, and it was like but, in an early but, stages early access game. But but you can you can play play it a lot and get good and join the ESL Pro League tour. <laughs> yeah, dude, fuck it. I don't know, man. The thing is, is like Street Fighter Four. It was probably one of the definitive fighting games of of this last generation of consoles and leading up until Street Fighter Five. And there was just so much hype built behind it because everybody's like. Oh yeah, finally a Street Fighter Five game, and then when it came out, it just—it was just so bad, man. It just—it did not feel good at all. 
So, yeah, I kind of understand that people are upset that, I don't know, if you bought into Street Fighter V when it released, I bought into it and I played it and I thought it was, I thought it was dog shit. I hated it. And I liked Street Fighter IV. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, you kind of feel like you're kind of being shafted a little bit. It's like, yeah. I've been here since the beginning, you know, and you're not going to, like, throw me something. <laughs> I know people bought the DLC characters, but maybe you could figure out something for them that you can help them out with. But, I, man. That's uh, See, dude, that's why you got to go buy an SNES and just play Street Fighter 2. Yeah. No, gotta or get you the better just one. go. Play Tekken. <laughs> Or you can just go buy that, uh, what was it, $200 cartridge? Oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the re-release cartridge? Yeah. You get the better yeah, game, yeah. dude. It's better than mm. five. Let's be real. Yeah. Last gaming news story, Nintendo pushes Switch production to $2 million a month, uh, which is quite high. It's quite high. Uh, yeah, I haven't noticed insane. any out-of-stock issues with the Switch around me. I mean, they're pretty much everywhere around me. Have you guys seen any stock issues with Nintendo Switch lately? I think any everyone everything, pretty much wants one has one. Yeah, I think everything I order is every time I order something, it's basically online anyway. So I'm not running right. into the local GameStop looking for something. I think the last time I it's went into in GameStop, stock on Amazon. Yeah. yeah, if it's in stock yeah. on Amazon, then yeah, that they have enough stock. In they want to push opinion. out but more for the, for the holiday. This is going to be a hot, yeah. hot holiday. Yeah, item. Mario sure Odyssey is is, is going to be one of the biggest holiday this might, sellers. This might be the biggest holiday selling console this year for sure i believe it yeah you it's know? it's gonna be what's gonna help gonna sell crazy. it the yeah. microsoft xbox one x x s s s x s x tricky dude dude it's the record 120 teraflops come on <laughs> no dude but yeah fucking 12 dude get it get it straight there's like 12 no, i'm teraflops. sorry but yeah if if definitely if people are getting consoles for christmas like if you already have a PlayStation 4 or if you have an Xbox, if that's your thing, you're not going to be just getting the new version so you can run 4K. You're, yeah. you're going to get a Switch. You're not going to get just another. Like, people, people like, I don't know, like Wayne and other people, y'all might, you might get, you know, <laughs> PS4 Pros or Xbox Xs and stuff like that. But when you already have the original, but ever like normal like the the average consumer is not gonna no. not gonna go out There's and no rebuy a whole system. Yeah, no probably four K. Yeah, I'm the only reason why I'm gonna buy a PS4 Pro is because I'm also buying a four K or TV. And that's like a thousand dollar investment, or that, no, that I guess that'd be around a thousand bucks. We get a Damn. deal on a four K TV, depending yeah. on the size. Yeah, TCL, yo. And that's a, I mean the Nintendo Switch is a great console. It's got great great games right now. Great games. You like just, Arms. You Arms can't. is getting an update. <laughs> You arms is actually arms. getting an update with a new character. Guess so who you guys cares? might want to not this guy. <laughs> Fuck that. Who's game. got two thumbs and don't care? That might be my biggest <laughs> I mean, gaming regret of 2017. <laughs> it's arms. arms. <laughs> they fucking lured me in because there was no other game to play on the Switch at the time. Anyways, no. I haven't played it. I mean, I played it once. I played it literally <laughs> like maybe two times and never played it again after that. It was just no point. I'd definitely buy a Switch over the new Xbox. I say right now, if you're looking to get a Switch for for someone for the holidays, buy it right now because it's going to be a bitch to get in a month. But it's man, be a bitch all, to get. all of those Xbox One Triple <laughs> X exclusives available in the Windows 10 store that you can now use on your Chromebook, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pumped for exclusive. Uh, I'm pumped for Super Mario Odyssey though. It looks good. I was watching some gameplay today. All right, moving on to tech news. Uh, we're gonna talk about the Pixel stuff last. Let's talk about this YouTube story really quick. So after the recent um, tragedies over in Las Vegas, YouTube is now banning gun modding tutorials. Uh, pretty much outright. One of my favorite channels, Hitcock, Hitcock Forty Five here. Uh, he's been talking about how YouTube's pretty much just fucking his channel over. And I don't know if I agree with this move here. I, I thought you I, were actually, I thought we were actually going in the complete opposite direction with this piece because I didn't know what we were about to talk about. But you also heard about them uh, pulling ad revenue from any video talking about the Las Vegas shooting. But yeah. then, but they left it up. They left ad revenue up on Jimmy Kimmel's video about oh, yeah. the Las Vegas shooting. Because I'm sure they get so much money from the fucking Jimmy yeah. Kimmel show. 
Yeah, if was YouTube is out of control these days. Uh, they need to figure out what their plan is because if they don't want to promote content creators like like indie content creators, just people that have made that platform what it is, then they need to just do it already and just cut the cord so we can move on and go to a different platform. And if they want to, uh, you know, just uh, go the other way, if they do want to promote content creators, they need to cut the bullshit. This, I don't know if I agree with this because I understand, yes, that's a that's a, a very disgusting tragedy that happened. And, um, and you know, you don't want to support anything like that, especially if you're a private company. You don't want to be supportive of anything like that. You don't want your company being looked at like that either. So I understand it from a company perspective. But it this is this is YouTube we're talking about, you know. This is an encyclopedia for videos for anything in video format, and I mean, people are just gonna get this information anyway if they really want to know how to modify a gun. That information is always gonna be out there, so why not have it so you can monitor it and have it so you can at least if it's on your platform you can you know about it and you can monitor it rather than just banning it and just leaving it up to the fucking wild west of the yeah. internet. I mean, it's like a difficult situation for you. Yeah. At the same time, it's, you know, it's the content's not the issue. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, the content is, is irrelevant. It's irrelevant. The only thing that's that that the content really is, is it's up to YouTube, you know, what decision they're going to make. They they need to stop the bullshit. They either need they just need to be more upfront about what they're core values are and how they want to proceed as a company so people yeah, it's gonna people be hard don't... dude it's google they need like that's so that's been a, yeah it. that's been a huge thing google's actually needed to work on for probably about four years or so is because they were whole founded on that don't be evil what the fuck does don't be evil mean yeah i don't know they they were, they were it's a very, very transparent statement. exactly yeah. and now it's like they it's like you, you can't talk to anyone over there, you know. They're just completely shut down and they just do what they want. And it's like I understand you don't want to be associated with this content, but these people upload a tons and tons of videos to your platform, you know, kind of trusting your platform that they can allow their videos on there. And now for this to happen, it's pretty it's pretty crazy. You don't know where it ends because they haven't said anything about it. You know, if they came out and made certain statements and they, like I said, showed us their their core values and where they want to go as a company. Well, then these kind of people will say, OK, I know that I'm not wanted on this platform. I, I got to move somewhere else. But right now it's kind of up in the air. I think that if you're someone who's making like a video platform sharing service, this is the best time to make it known because there are so many YouTubers out there who cannot wait to get the fuck off of YouTube. Even if it means that it's, they are yeah. losing tons of money and they lose half their user base, it's just not worth the toxicity. It's not worth all the it's not worth all the uncertainty. You're just not knowing whether if your channel is gonna stay up or if it's gonna get shut down. I mean, it's just so much bullshit being associated with, with YouTube so, right now. So what you're saying is uh now's the best time to move to Vimeo. <laughs> well, not Vimeo, oh, but uh Daily Motion. I was about to say, are we, are we about to switch to Daily Motion? <laughs> I don't know if we can go that far. It needs to be Why? like YouTube where it's it's so quick and easy and you jump in and the, the search is there. There's there's trending stuff. It, That's it, it going to take a while. Yeah, it not going to happen. It's going to take a while. I That's actually the, wrote a comment yeah. on Reddit uh, not so long ago about how if some so a company like like Facebook or Apple were to create a YouTube service, some, someone with a phone, right? Someone who, has, who, ha, who sells phones, Apple probably being the most popular. If they said, hey... Here's a new Apple app. Every every iPhone gets it, and it's just like YouTube. That would be a competing service right there, as long yeah, as because. the values were what old YouTube was. Anyone can upload, and you know, and if, you, if you're popular, yeah. then you make money. If not, then we'll go away. Then we'll run into this issue in another five years. Yeah, probably <laughs> doesn't matter. But yeah, not you're now. right. Uh, if Apple if Apple was to make a service like YouTube or a site like YouTube, then uh, it would take off because they already have that installed user base that they right. can just use on their phone, like automatically just and install YouTube this is like and 90% put it right in mobile phones, you know? Yeah. Oh, definitely. But yeah, man, it, it would yeah. be nice to see the day where I could, you know, uh, go and watch my let's play on live, live leak and not have to worry about somebody dying in the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, Live Leak would probably, if they cleaned up a little bit and made like a nice actual website to look at, they they got the infrastructure to start building. It legit, know? like legit, if you go to Live Leak, it looks like like just the layout of the website. You're like, I'm going to watch somebody die. I'm going to watch somebody die. Yeah. Like the first video I click on, somebody's dying. I already know it, dude. <laughs> this looks like, like some sketchy shit. The fucking, everything is just like a deep red color and just fucking, yeah, it's scary. Live Leak is a crazy fucking website. All right, next story. It's, go ahead, go ahead. You can finish. You can finish. Uh, I was just gonna say, like, it that's definitely a problem. Google needs to sort the fuck yeah, out, pretty do. much, because like it's 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 hurting the, all <sighs> their sales in terms of like like no, I wouldn't say their sales, but it's hurting them as a as a visionary company. They used to be very visionary and used to have these big ideas, and this company used to be trusted by millions of people. And now with YouTube being... Oh, I think it still is. It's just not by the content creators. They need to focus back on those and not lose those because they're risking... I don't risking... know, man. I don't know. I think, I don't I think the average people person... trust Google the way that they used to. Well, that's more... I could see that because of data, but I think they're still pretty trustworthy. I don't know. I don't know if I, could, if I can agree with that. Anyways, Microsoft canceled an all-screen Windows phone in 2014. Yeah. Um. Looks like Windows is killing off the Windows phone. I just watched that movie Get Out. I think I talked about it before. And uh, one of the most unrealistic aspects of that movie, which pulls me right out of the movie, is 0 out of 10. That guy uses a fucking Windows phone in the movie. Not only that, but he uses a Microsoft Surface, and the first website that he goes to is Bing.com. Bing. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. Unwatchable. Yeah, Unwatched. every time, every time Dang. I see something when in a you movie, want to Google something. Yeah, dude, every time I see, I thought we don't trust a Google movie, <laughs> a movie or something, and it and somebody uses Bing, I'm just like, yeah, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm fucking, fucking done Bing, with this shit. Dude. Fucking nobody uses Bing. You know when you use Bing is when you actually when you, you install to... when you install a new Windows and you have to open up inter- Internet Explorer to, to download it. Chrome. At least, <laughs> and at least it. it's Bing now and not MSN is all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, True. Like, I would rather use Dogpile. Hey, I'd MSN... rather use Ask Jeeves is than MSN Bing. Is MSN still out? Is MSN still oh, a yeah. thing? MSN still a thing. Oh my God, it is. Yeah, open up your Internet Explorer. It's the homepage. Oh my God. <laughs> it's the automatic homepage every single time. All right, they need to turn that off. Hey, uh, Microsoft, turn that off right now. I think MSN uh, Messenger stole a thing too. Is it really? Guess yeah. who's not? A- AIM. Mm. They just shut yep. down last week. Oh, did yep. they? Yep. Yeah. Rip. Oh man, that's a shame. No more buddy lists. <laughs> yeah, dude. All gone. No more I f- away I messages. Re- I saw that. I saw that. But you can still send an Reddit. MSN message. <laughs> I saw that on Reddit last week and they were like, AOL states that they're finally shutting down their AIM service. I was like, who the fuck is still using that service though? (laughs) Goodbye. The unfortunate amount of um, people who I was going to, no, I was going to say the unfortunate amount of old people who are still somehow trapped on dial up because (laughs) that's still a thing and still actually exists. And they have 10,000 discs of the uh, initial boot up. (laughs) You remember those goddamn things, or the yeah. one the floppy disk? Yeah, I get them every. Week. You open, you yeah. open your like computer shopper magazine, and there's your new, brand new AOL install disk. It there's your new such coaster. a pain in the ass to install if you wanted AOL. Oh my god. Oh, when is somebody gonna make an art installation of nothing but like AOL disks? I wonder how much, how many disks are actually out there in the wild right now. I'd say I should have saved them all. I should have made a collection of AIM or AOL discs. Uh, yeah, so Windows Phone looks like uh, I that. Don't know what they're doing? That's conflicting though, because there's and I don't I haven't been trusting any news about Surface products this week. Because every time I check, there's one person saying, "Hey, dude, Surface is dead. It's not coming back." And then the next article underneath, it's like, "No, there's still gonna be new Surface stuff, and they're actually working on a Surface phone right now." So I don't know what to believe. Oh, really? Yeah. Because yeah, there's also at the same time, the yeah, that makes no sense. Surface exactly, surface. but that's what some people are trying to say, and I'm like, uh, okay. But the I'm approaching that with the same thing with the Surface Phone because there are rumors that they are working on a Surface Phone because they're working on the Andromeda, which is a core OS, which is like 
what they're going to try to make the new mobile slash Xbox version of Windows 10 be. So I, they got to put that on something, basically. They're not just dicking around and making it for nothing. I mean, uh, I mean, they could be actually knowing Microsoft. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, mean it, it could be a Zune. <laughs> yeah, the Microsoft. I, I, a Surface One would be nice. I, I think it. I think that they have to because everyone has a phone these days. So it just makes sense for them to just make it. If yeah, it sells whatever. Well, but just to at least try because everyone has a phone. You don't know what's going to catch on. That Android market is crazy right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, love it or hate it. The coolest rumor I did see about that which still isn't enough to make me consider a Windows phone, but someone was digging around in that OS they're supposedly designing for it. Apparently, you it works for... It has full access to all 32-bit apps, oh, which cool. isn't as good as 64, obviously, but that, that could be apps. really interesting. Exactly. That's almost everything from the last 20 years that's been on Windows. You know that's, what I mean? That's crazy, actually. Yeah, so that could be really crazy that's if that's super true. Super enticing, thirty-two bit apps. There's so many apps that I would that I would use. <laughs> yeah, that that's, was that's, that was the most bizarre thing I saw out of all of that. Was like, how are they gonna kinda, really? You're gonna kind of. They would definitely have to have some type of malware Trojan protection oh, yeah. <laughs> deep within the fucking core of the chip. Dude, but, uh, you could install awesome. your AOL onto your new Surface phone. <laughs> Uh, all right, next, last uh, story. We're going to talk about these uh, Google Pixel uh, devices that just came out from there. I did a little uh, live stream on that. You can go find that right over there at Twitch backslash no underscore lives. Um, I'm probably not going to put that up on the YouTube channel. It's a pretty long video, so just go watch it over there if you, if you give a shit. Uh, let's talk about the Pixel 2 phone. What do you think, Jerry? You're the Google guy. You like you like the I think, these Google things. You got a Pixel. It's a love, yeah. It's a love I hate, dude. I was surprised dude. that it's a love hate. I, I think some of it's that really you cool. Yeah. Super hype about this phone. I thought you'd be super hype. Hey, dude, the camera looks amazing. I'm hype. I would be hyped and want to switch for the camera. I'm not hyped about no headphone jack, but they at least gave an actual response to someone asking them that question. So I'll give them credit for that. But I, I still think it's their response was basically, "Hey, in the future, we're just doing it." for the future's sake, because eventually we just want your entire front of your phone to be a screen, which sounds hellish to me, but whatever. That's a different story. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know, that's, that's like, what I think most companies actually want is they want your entire front screen to be a phone, and I'm like, that's kind of cool, but I dropped my phones. Not and uh, that, that's, uh, that's, that's just, like, there goes all structural integrity of my phone. That, yeah. You always hold your phone like this. Like sometimes yeah, you gotta exactly. hold your phone like this or like this. And if you're touching your fucking screen, it always touches shit. And that was the problem I had with my S7 Edge. Like the, just the edges alone, you're constantly nicking things. And oh, palm protection's yeah. really good. No, it ain't. You fucking liar. Palm yeah. protection sucks on phones. It's it's stuff like that where it's just like, you know, it doesn't even have to be the biggest bezel, but like, I'm o- I'm okay with like you know it, a little chin a, or a, little a tiny or little bezel. Yeah, like I'm okay with that. Like it doesn't have to be an entire screen because if the screen's actually on the edges, that's that is just a drop magnet, dude. Yeah, man. That is just sure. begging to be breaking all the time. All right, well, so let's, that uh, yeah. like the camera of this phone. What about camera? Seems really cool. And we're talking um, specifically about the XL Pixel Two. No one's gonna get it. It looks. Yeah, I was gonna say the XL. Like the XL. Phone. Yeah. The Pixel yeah. 2 looks like this phone, which came out. It looks exactly like this phone. Big ass yeah, bezels. It's, it's, the, it's like the first one, except they copied that one even more and made the bezels monstrous. I don't know why they did that. but I don't, Yeah, I don't. The, the, okay, the X2 looks gorgeous. I think the X2 looks gorgeous. The, the black with the red button. Yeah, that one looks good. Like I For I like the that. oval screen, I actually really like that. <laughs> they added to it. I like that quite a bit. But like... Some of the stuff in it seems really cool, but it's it's one of those like, is it really enough to entice me to spend eight hundred dollars? No, and it's it's gonna have the same problem with the iPhone X. No one's gonna be able to buy these phones. No one's gonna buy the be able to buy the iPhone X, and no one's gonna be able to buy a Pixel Two until yeah. probably spring June. Yeah, sometime in spring you'll be able to, unless you're a fucking crazy person and you do whatever you gotta do to get your phone. Uh, but some of the, I like the I don't ARs, like the squeeze. Yeah. I think the squeeze is kind of gimmicky. I th- yeah, I think it's dumb. I think it could be useful, but I'd have to actually tr- try it. But I still think it's kind of a gimmick. 
I I think Neil Patel said it best is uh, if I find out that they uh, took out the headphone jack to add the fucking squeeze, I'm just going to burn everything down. <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, no, they just took it out just to take it out, dude. There's no yeah. reason for them not to have it. I'm sure there's plenty of space in that phone. Um, what but else like, is cool? Uh, no wireless charging, which is big. Wireless charging is fucking dope. You're getting them in Starbucks everywhere. You're getting them on a bunch of different places. So it's kind of crazy that they didn't allow like the they, top of the they, phone looks like a glass, but it's they've it's, never done that for some reason. Yeah, I think they should do it the opposite way, where the top of the phone is like the aluminum, whatever they do, I, and the bottom actually, is glass. That is like about it, because like okay, this one. I actually like how far the glass comes down. At first, I didn't, but I've really grown to it. I don't like how that new glass is down to here. That just yeah. feels like you just tacked it on. Well, this is like, no, this is a focal point. Right. Instead and of just like, they could have done an opposite. It's there. Or so you can add the wireless charging in it. That makes more sense to me. Um, but that's okay. Whatever. Not a lot of people use wireless charging anyway uh, right now. The air stuff seems cool. It Honestly, it seems the same as the iPhone 8 to me. Not on a software level, but like, cool. They both have AR. That's actually really cool. But yeah, yeah, that that stuff we'll see more like use cases in the future. In a couple of years, yeah. There's going to be gonna one app, whether it's on Android or it's on iPhone, that's going to be like the AR app that gets everyone in the door. Yeah, like the Facebook like, of AR, or the Snapchat of AR. I was really hoping they could do it with the iPhone 10 or X or whatever it's officially called. But they put the sensor on the wrong way. I'm salty about that. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, most of the most of the sensors that you can use the best with the iPhone 10, they all got put on the front camera instead for the facial recognition. Oh, right. But like those are actually really what would be the best. Like those, like some of those principles that you took from like Google Tango and stuff like that. Right. So it's all facing you. When if I want AR shit, I want it out. Yeah. It works though. I don't know what they're no, doing yeah. with the dual the dual lens system, but it does work. Like, and it works pretty quickly. Like when I do the running app, it, it tells you to scan the ground, and it knows the ground like almost immediately, which is pretty crazy. Because, like you said, there doesn't have all like the dot, the, like where it throws the dots out and it throws the lasers and shit. It kind of just takes a picture basically and says, "Okay, here's the ground." What's Pokemon Go, dude? What, uh, <laughs> I mean, Jerry. You don't want a glorified uh, Snapchat filter <laughs> no. as your AR as your AR experience. You don't want an emoji, <laughs> dude. I mean, if I want to, if I'm going to spend that much, I might as well buy a Pixel Book because Snapchat's making it so you can use the entire fucking thing as a Snapchat feature now. Uh, hopefully, Snapchat figures something else out because that app is fucking dead. <laughs> uh, um, I use it for my friends. I don't know. Snapchat? It's a fun app. Yeah, it's a fun app. You yeah. don't use Instagram? Instagram's where to go. Yeah, I use Instagram too. Oh, you got both. But I, I don't make Instagram. the little stories on Instagram. Is that what you're talking about? No, you can like do the like the video. private the private little Snapchats on Instagram. No, true. Little true. group message. I don't know. No, I don't dude, really I don't trust I Facebook. Moved, I just moved over to uh, Instagram. <laughs> no. Yeah, uh, if there's one company you don't want to trust. It's fucking Facebook. It's Facebook, sure. yeah. Okay, wait. We're not done with the phone. Uh, no. Really the, cool. What else was there? Uh, some of the stuff that it does with those buds is kind of cool. I still think those buds are oh yeah, the buds fucking the buds. hideous. Yeah, the, like just a God. Hold on. Let's see if I can find them. Like it's like that kind of tech to me is really cool, but that is like one of the ugliest products you ever could have made. And I'm Here sorry, not sorry. I don't think it's that bad. I it's not it's that, that bad. bad. It's just like I don't know why the string. Not they good. Got rid of the string. Yeah. Um. It shouldn't have been neck buds. It should have been smaller, if possible. It's just like a giant. Like it's like. I don't know. It's seeing those. It's like, hey, dude. I really wanted to gauge my ears, but I couldn't go through that pain, so I just put an earbud <laughs> in my ear now. I think maybe that I, I all these kind of like ear wireless earbuds thing they all look goofy right now because we're not used to seeing them maybe, so maybe after a while you'll be able to be like you know what they're not that bad. True, but yeah, I just clips. I don't know like, yeah, the, I think the clips is cool. Do you? I know some people think it's yeah. I think that's cool because I I have older parents and dude that like the second I saw that thing is like I 
the the biggest reason why I would buy a new pixel is literally to give my mom my old pixel and buy her clips. Because to me, like that's just that is the perfect thing for any type of family gathering for like mothers. Like that is the ultimate product for like a mother who's at a family gathering. You know, they always want 10,000 pictures of that family gathering. I, and then you can just know. set it down. Yeah, but why wouldn't you just use your phone? Take the picture. Because then, you, then you're taking up time. You're not interacting with your family. I don't know. I guess. But that's, I mean, it, it, it is a total niche product. Don't get me wrong. But like that, that is, I think it's it pretty almost, cool for it, parents. It, it, it it's totally for parents. GoPro. It really just reminds me that it's just like a GoPro. It's put up. No, nah, dude, it's, it's, it's not though. Cause GoPro is like, you're intentionally going for pictures. You know what I mean? You're intentionally trying to do like a cool shot. This is literally just like, it will take good pictures. You just set it and forget it. This to me is literally, it's, this is, you just, it's entirely for parents. Like this is literally the entire reason why this product does exist is for like parents at parties. Um, pixel book. That's, that's the last thing. I'm going to love hate with it. I think it I, looks nice. I think it, uh, I'm in, yeah, no, I think dude, it looks I'm, nice, but it runs Chrome OS. Exactly. I, I love how it looks dude, but it's Chrome OS. It I already have a sense, Chromebook. Though. I love it. I love yeah. my Chromebook, but it's just like, is it, I it's love my Chromebook $1, too. Cause it's a $160 Chromebook. Right. This is a thousand dollars and it's a Chromebook, <laughs> but I get it. I get it, it honestly it ties to the phone. And that's why I love, yeah. that's the reason why I got the iPhone is because it ties to the MacBook so well. And that seamless tying together between your mobile device and your laptop or your computer is really worth a lot. It, it's worth a lot. And if they can do it right, then I can see it being popular. It's just the Pixel has to sell a lot. No one's going to buy the Pixel book if they don't have a Pixel or an Android, rather. Yeah. You know? I mean, I, I'm, I, would, I keep trying to talk myself out of not wanting it because I kind of really want it, even though it's just like... I mean, yeah. if you had the money and you wanted to upgrade your Chromebook, that would be the only way... That would be the only reason I would want to. Otherwise... Dude, it depends on the keyboard. Them. Well, it is a laptop. It depends on what you need to do with your laptop. Yeah, I guess. Because you got to also remember, it's I'm, like I've, never, I've not in probably two used pers- Chrome OS. I am, I have not in depthly used Chrome OS. I've used it a oh, few really? times. Now, it's not bad, dude. Like I like real talk. We're complaining about Chrome OS because we're content creators and like right. hardcore users. For probably ninety percent of the population, right? Chrome OS is perfect. Is it quick too? Oh yeah, it's dude! Quick. It's super quick. This thing's got nice specs. It's got like 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's using like the i7, seventh gen i7s. Uh, so I mean, it's a nice. It's gonna be quick. You just gotta got. You just gotta be locked into the Chrome OS system, I guess. Let's see. Oh, is it dead? That's dead. That's what you get for a hundred bucks. No, I just didn't <laughs> charge it. <laughs> No, seriously though, it it turns on faster than a phone. Like oh, yeah? it's yeah, like boot to login screen is about three seconds at most, and then you put in your password, and then it just opens up, and there you go. Yeah, it's seriously about what, five seconds. These uh, laptops are getting so much faster at booting, which is fucking great. It's fucking great. Um, I don't know. I'm not too excited about the Pixel Book. I I I'm hype about the phone. I want to get it in my hands. Yeah, I'm, I'm like the same one. with all of that. Yeah, but I want to. I want to play with it. I want to play with that, but I want to play with the the uh, Pixel books. The biggest thing is I've heard really great things about uh, the keyboard on the Pixel book, and I want to see if that's true. It's crazy that the Pixel book is more than the than the Google Pixel two. Also, the phone is cheaper than the than the actual Chromebook. I thought it would be the other way around. I thought this was going to be a thousand bucks for the phone. Yeah, no, not everyone aspires to be that <laughs> all right moving on to deep topics did you guys see this content cop i want to talk about this at first <laughs> this yeah. uh jackie polly chan chan chop chan chop chop <laughs> yeah i watched I, I watched that content cop it was, a, yeah. it was entertaining 
It was really yeah. entertaining. It was just like a whole 30 minute assault. It was a fucking was. assault. <laughs> <laughs> Almost a sexual assault. Almost. But Dude, he did ask for it. He did ask for it. That's yeah, very true. He did. That's very true. Yeah, didn't it actually like the first day it went up, it got removed like instantly. Yeah, they had some fucking issues with it. Um yeah. I wanna uh, the reason I wanted to talk about this is because there is like a an epidemic on YouTube with like these like uh I don't know how to explain it, but they're like the Jake Pauls of YouTube. You know, they're like these super. The invasion of the Vine Stars. The invasion of the Vine Stars, like the super produced channels. And if you look at Rice Gum's house, he is living a lavish dog. He's got Lambos. He's got mansions, pool tables, and he flexes super hard. So having a content creator like iDubs come out and where. I mean, this this video got so many views in the first day. Fucking unbelievable. So you know that people are waiting for like this and ant, uh, how do you say the fucking word? Antithesis. Anticipate. Oh. <laughs> Antithesis of these kind of content creators. And that's what he is. And uh, I really enjoy this guy's content. Uh, that being said, I think this this specific content cop was his weakest content cop. In terms of the other ones he's done, I think it was his uh, weakest performance to date. I think I say, Leafy I, was his best want, one, and eh, then Keemstar, I, and then maybe this one. No, well, you got to remember too. There's actually been more than just those three, so that's why I would say this wasn't the weakest. There's, there's well, the a Tana couple Mongo that he. Well, the Tana Mongo one. This might be worse than the Tana Mongo one. Eh, I don't think let so. See, let me see the other. There one. was also like a couple other just like more random people. I think yeah, that, like smaller channels. Yeah, like like toy channels and shit like that. I think uh, uh, his food reviewers one. Uh, then he had Jinx, <laughs> and then I don't know. I I think this one. I maybe it's because that maybe it's because I know like the story behind like those rape uh, the rape victim thing. That was a pretty popular story. Uh, what was it two years ago now? It was pretty long ago. Um, and I kind of, I kind of knew that story. And and when you when he does the content cop, he usually hits you with some like shit that you didn't know. He usually digs up some crazy shit. And this one was more focusing on like him as like a person, and him as as how he is, and him being like this kind of like fake alpha male type character, rather than really focusing on the content that he produces. It was really just like a personality cop. Rather than a content cop, that's how it felt uh, to me. I don't personally watch Rice Gum. Uh, I honestly do any of us, but um, yeah, who does? <laughs> Has yeah. so many fucking viewers. <laughs> exactly. Uh, who goes kids. at home is like, little, oh little man, kids. Rice Gum uploads. Can't wait, man. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like I, I assume that a lot of Rice Gum videos are him attacking people from what i've seen what i saw from the ice dub or from the i dubs video ice dubs ice dubs, ice dubs. <laughs> what i saw ice from dubs the, in the clip, video, hitting that new diss track what i could gather was that you know like most of rice gums videos are just like when he when he does a video on somebody else he's personally attacking them so i figured that's why he personally True. attacked him give him a little bit of a taste because yeah, like from what i saw in the video the dude that actually point. is really insecure <laughs> yeah, yeah no like that's the that's most how that you could bother the most you can bother that kind of person is just to personally attack them like that true like that's I mean, why the leafy one was so good because he kept mentioning the chin he like yeah. it's it's all things he, like good it's luck, yeah. he goes yeah he goes after like those little nuances that are in all of the things not just yeah. specific things sometimes too yeah. that you know if like every single one of your pictures is like this yeah then you know that it fucking bothers you if you're hiding if you're hiding your fucking chin behind your mic like that. Dude, he destroyed really Leafy. Life. He destroyed yeah, that he dude's did. channel. His channel is worth jack shit these days. I don't think that's gonna happen to Rice Gum, but it might, dude. That that type of content is so know, dispensable. It's just it's, so dispensable. There's just gonna be that, another hype beast that pops up, and he's he's gonna be the guy that got shut down by iDubs. I don't know though. Nah. I could be wrong there. Um, it, the, the the craziest part about it to me was actually just the diss track when it's just like okay 
course Ethan's there that no one's surprised, but then it's like, oh shit, he's got Jack films. He's got boy in a band. He's got fucking PewDiePie. Like that was where it was just like, he got PewDiePie. All right. Which was fucking big. Uh, who was the other one? Uh, uh, comment etiquette. Him yeah. Yeah. Eric Danner, internet comment et- etiquette. Yeah. Guys. If you've seen the video and you haven't seen it, that, that portion right there within the hoodies at the end, you see them. They're all in the hoodies. The have you ever, have you ever watched any of Eric's videos? Yeah, if yeah. not, then you fucking should. It's a really underrated channel. I love com- internet commenting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah. He's a great comment dude. etiquette. It's fucking great, dude. I, th- I, I, uh, I was kind of looking forward to that Jake, uh, Jake Paul content cop, but this does serve a, as a better one. And I think maybe the next four months, maybe the next eight months. I don't know. However long this guy takes to make a content cop, we'll see a Jake Paul one day. But for now, the Rice Gum one. It was entertaining. It was very entertaining. And it's always nice to see him go after these channels where you, you look at him, you're just like, how? How is this guy? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, so good job on that one. Next. Now we're going to talk about these loot boxes. And then we're gonna one more- <laughs> I forgot about this by this point. Oh my God. One more. Uh, <laughs> this is a jam-packed show. All right. And then we got a... Why is this? All right. So this is weird. I click on these two specific videos. I have my ad blocker on. But for some reason, these two specific videos, the ad blocker gets turned off. Yep. Why is I that? I have also, I have, I don't know. I've also noticed that on YouTube. I run ad blocker, and sometimes ads are making it through. How so, does that happen? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, ad block, separate game up. Which, which one do you use? You block Origin? No, just ad block premium uh-huh. or ad block plus or whatever one. Yeah, I don't, they're slipping through. Dude. See, just to piss off Loco, you need to buy a Raspberry Pi and make a pie hole <laughs> because sure. you can actually you can actually make basically a like router level ad blocker that will ad block everything on your net, no, network if you want, like Let's your phone, your laptop, hole. everything. Someone yeah. get this man a pie hole stat. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about these loot boxes. They're out of control. Uh, cynical Brit, what's his name? Total Biscuit. Total Biscuit. Uh, yeah, he, he he dropped the video and then uh, big boy uh, big brother angry Joe here dropped another video right after it basically the big the biggest point being Star Wars Battlefront uh, and the loot system and we were talking a little bit about it before but the, the way that they gate the progression only behind loot boxes and doing it in a really bad way uh, and basically that's the moral of these videos but I want to ask the question and we've said this before in earlier shows is is this just a way for these do you think this these loop do you think that they want to do loot boxes to make as much money as possible or do you think that these games are just getting too expensive to make so they're just adding on these loot boxes to kind of cover no, it's, expenses it's a bit of both it's yeah it's a little bit of both i guess to cover cost of the game but in the end like greed is greed you know <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you can't yeah. sit there and tell me the company and the stockholders are like, yeah, we should do this to help with production, the, the cost of funding. Or, I mean, uh, I, I what's have the funding what's of the, the game. Yeah. What's it, the, the top stockholders grossing, are like, yeah. What's the top grossing game? Period. What's the top grossing game? It's a free to play game called League of Legends. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. That, it works. You get a lot of money. Yeah. It's, you're just like, ooh, I get to gamble that, at sure two dollars a pop. Plus, I'm sure that they've returned on their initial investments on that game. You know what I mean? Like now, it's just like they're paying for server space, and then it's all profit. It's kind of a shame. Oh, to League see of these, Legends. Yeah. It's kind of a shame to see the sixty dollars game that's not even out yet offer loot boxes in this beta form. You know, and it's it's only going to get worse. I think it's well. Worse. I I well, have no. You don't pay problem. in the beta. I have no. I have no problem with loot boxes as a game mechanic when it comes to in-game currency that you earn through playing the game. That's a rewarding mechanic. It's when you hide a bunch of items that are vital to playing the game behind them and then making things like crafting parts are very low. You get maybe like 20 uh, per drop in sometimes. The sometimes no not even per drop i've done i've like and, and yeah. some things are very and sometimes- high cost to craft 
Like right. that's like I wouldn't have a problem with that if it was still just the fact that okay you're earning in-game currency by playing the game because that right. means you're rewarded for playing the game. It's when you start to throw in microtransactions that really dirties the whole thing. Yeah, especially when all of the your, your power level in the game basically is based off of those loot boxes and you can pay for them. If you can't pay for them, that's fine. But if right. you start paying for them, yeah. that's like yeah, okay, you're you're paid to win. I also, fucking, there's just no way to around it. Also, if you were coming at it at the angle of it's a beta, you shouldn't have to pay for loot boxes. Blizzard has been doing this for fucking years. They did it in Hearthstone, and they also did it in Overwatch, yeah, and probably Heroes of the Storm. Verb Verve. was saying, yeah, that Hearthstone is probably the worst example of yeah this well, system. Overwatch I don't know. Is... I've never played it. Overwatch is more like skins and things yeah, like that. Yeah, that's the thing. Is that's all cosmetic things, yeah, at least. That, I don't have a problem with yeah. you paying for that. You're paying for cosmetics. That's the right. same as paying. Though. Not hard no, I'm, no. I'm talking about <laughs> Overwatch. And that's the problem, too, is with the Star Wars Battlefront, is it's not just weapons and items. Like, no, there's you know, very parts, little there's, cosmetics you like, get through this. There's emotes. There are battle cards, but there are four tiers of battle cards. So... Not only are you going for battle cards, well, you want the best ones. Let me bring up a real quick example. One of the things that... And uh, then there's crafting mechanics and yeah. guns. The only cosmetic things are the emotes, and they're extremely rare. They're actually the rarest thing is the, the cosmetics. A, I've gotten a bunch of them. I don't know about the rarest, but like, the, yeah, like I've got a yeah. decent amount, but it's just like, but I get that's, them, that's the like, cosmetic. Is you get, <laughs> cool. You get an emote for at the end of game screen. That's that's your cosmetic item. Everything else is based off of everything else affects how you play during while playing the game. Yeah, right. which is and why when I get an emote, I'm like, really, I could have used something else. I right, and that was that. A, a big point. In, uh, and you can't sell them either and no. get like some type of currency out of it. You're just stuck with it. Uh, a big point that Total Biscuit makes is like how effective some of these cards are. Like here, this thing called Death from Above, which is like Boba Fett. He takes less damage when he's using his rocket boosters. The first tier is fifty percent, and the fourth tier is a hundred percent. So essentially, you're invincible That's during a that huge time. Huge boost. That's a yeah. huge difference that you can essentially pay for by rolling loot box. I don't know how much money you're gonna have to pay to get that, but if you're someone who wanted that that perk to completely dominate, then you can absolutely do so. Now. I'm a, I, I fucking hate loot boxes so much. I hate the whole RNG system of of well, all of it. I hate them. I rather you I don't know, I rather a different type of system. You'd rather a progression based system. Right. Like yeah. you know, that like you I need to get this many you play the game. I need you to prefer get to this the, level to get yeah. this thing. I need to do that. I fucking hate loot or boxes. Or even an in game currency what, to dude, buy said item. Exactly. That's what I want. That's what exactly. I want. But yeah. No, like, I mean, dude, what's what's wrong with this, you know, form of loot boxes that's been banned in other, other countries because it's gambling? Yeah. What's, what's yeah. wrong with that? It's yeah, we, we've we actually talked about this before with, uh, I think it was on like an early episode. We were yeah. talking yeah. about how yeah. uh, CSGO and all that, it's all skin gambling and all, I don't know, loot boxes yeah. are gambling. And the, but... Like this um, game, this, they were saying it in, in the the episode. This game deserves an M rating because essentially there's gambling associated in this game, and that can really fuck someone up, man. Like gambling is yeah. no joke. People ruin and, their lives with yeah. just gambling. And but it sucks because I mean, the game itself is a lot of fucking fun, but it's really hurt by this. Yeah, like this is, yeah. Do you, do you guys remember back when we were watching the E3 announcements and doing the live reactions to E3 announcements, and they announced Battlefield Two, and they said that all of the DLC was going to be free. And we instantly were like, okay, there's just going to be loot boxes then. Yeah. Yep. yeah I mean, it may, and that's yeah, exactly what it. happened. EA is scummy. EA is always going to be oh. scummy. EA is never going to not be scummy. Like, yeah. that's just how it's going to be. Been just, I don't know why people top, are shocked by this shit They've anymore. been one of the top, like, worst companies multiple years yeah, running. Yeah, there's a reason. It's there's, not yeah. because people are just picking on EA. EA is a shitty company. They, I mean, and they, got some com- they have competition company. now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's the other thing that they got tons of competition in that scummy as games manufacturer lately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <true. laughs> it still doesn't make them any less scummy, though. Yeah. They're not, they're not in it to make gamers happy. They're in it to make money. And it's yeah. painfully obvious. And it's always been painfully obvious. They're like the fucking Fox News of, uh, 
<laughs> of the video game world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and like, I, lo- I I like how they do, like like for like the Madden games, like sport games, like they have the ultimate team, and you can spend money to get different cards and stuff. But that feels different than this like straight up gambling system like that you know it's like a card it's like a card game basically you know and you like even with hearthstone i go play hearthstone you, your, you, your idea will completely change once yeah, you've sunk three hundred dollars and nope. still don't have the fucking cards yeah yeah that's pretty much the reason i don't play that game like <laughs> like know, like in madden when in the game in the game mechanic you're talking about buying cards do you know which card you're buying or is it like a booster pack it's like a booster it's a random pack card? okay it's the same fucking thing as hearthstone though except with madden you don't really need like the best player ever to win the game like you could still like it's still essentially you football still in control of- that character exactly right. yeah so Hearthstone, I can see that being completely different. If if you need that fucking card that just does what you need it to do, then that's super frustrating. But like in sports games, it makes sense because I mean, I've I've collected sports cards when I was a kid, and that kind of booster card thing is awesome. And I don't mind paying for something like that I've never have, but I don't mind it. And I probably will with like uh this this latest Madden. I, my ultimate team's getting kind of hitting a wall, and I want to kind of boost up. I want I want to you know get into that. So gotta I, boost. I, should have, I should have connected your account to uh, Twitch Prime and gotten those free legends. Oh, trust me, I did. Uh, so I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it in certain aspects, but something like this, like I wish that they figured out a different way to implement Dude, some honest, type of paying structure. Like whatever, even, it's gonna be there with that. It's gonna be there no matter what. But get rid of these fucking loot boxes. I hate them. So even much. if you had to do the box, they should have done it in a different way. They sh- they could have easily done it. So, okay, you can pay for a basic, like it could get convoluted in my head, but this is what I would have liked to see is like, okay, if you want a microtransaction box, here's a skin box. It's fucking star Wars, dude. Yeah. There are so many cool things you can add to that game and make it look cool. Yeah. It's already a beautiful fucking game too. Like you could add so much cool paint jobs and things like that. Roger, to Roger. All of the characters. Yeah. My but like, cosmetics. Exactly. Yeah. Then you have an in-game loot box that you get credits for, and that's how you get the star cards. And then gun crafting and weapon crafting is a completely different currency. That would have been simple enough to grasp. You could still have that element of fun from the boxes, but all of the actual but no in-game powers, money. exactly, all the in-game power is still set in the game. You still have to earn it through playing the game. And then you could have cool skins on top of that because, it, like I said, it's Star Wars. There's tons of cool stuff. They Instead of fucking Ray just like... <laughs> That's a nice little emote there, dude. Can we get that in the game, please? Oh, yeah, you watching? <laughs> Add the Jerry. Did you, um, did you guys... I mean, I don't want to change uh, the games, but Shadow... What was the new? Shadows of uh, Mortar. Shadow Shadows, Shadows of War. Of Shadow of War. That one had like... It has eight it different also kinds has of loot boxes. boxes. Yeah, in a single yeah. player game. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's they like also, an online like competitive game. Totally they also the have a, they also have a DLC uh, claiming to. I was just gonna say, be yeah, charity, <laughs> be that, charity, the, charity the old that old charity oh, DLC. Jesus yeah, Christ. but but in the fun and everybody jumped on that bandwagon and then you watch that, the Total Biscuit video and it's like in the fine print it says that it's only, only in, in the America US, and it's only and, like. We never like, actually say when we're gonna give it. <laughs> give I, it. I didn't like. And Shadow, then we received a lot like of Shadows. backlash, so we'll I finally didn't. say yes. We'll get all the money. <laughs> I didn't like Shadows of Mordor, so I'm not buying Shadows of War anyway. But yeah. like, yeah. even now, I'm just looking at that like, no, that just, was good callback by the way, Loco, because that was ag- <laughs> Warner Brothers was actually my uh, illusion <laughs> there I made earlier towards <laughs> yeah. giving EA a run. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking uh, scummy bastards. I, I I fucking hate loot boxes. Um, get rid of them altogether. I I don't mind if you gotta do microtransactions. Do it a different way. Loot boxing and gambling is not fun for me. Like and you're gonna fuck thing, someone up, man. Some of these rather, kids are gonna get fucked up playing these fucking RNG games, just when, constantly spending their parents' money. You'd rather a system almost like Splatoon's, where it's like as you level up, you unlock the chance to buy new weapons. So much rather than it's so much much, better it's so much better because you know you know where you're going and you want to get there you're not just (laughs) randomly rolling shit playing a stupid fucking game you're just like i just want to get this gun i just want to get this fucking 
the Jerry yeah. emote. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> please, someone. The Jerry emote. Why do I have to roll a thousand boxes that cost me like I don't know? All right, let's end the show. So, on this last would you topic. still play? Would you still play Crossy Road if it came out with loot boxes? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I would. I don't think I would. I still plan on probably getting Battlefront 2 because it's fun. That's where dude, they I'm, get you, Doobie. I know, dude. I'm torn. <laughs> I want to get Honestly, the game. That's like where they get it. you. They oh, make it fun the game. The beta sold Doobie, me on the game. But... Doobie, do what I'm probably going to do is because I kind of want it too. Like playing the beta, it is actually a. They made it a lot better. Yeah, the gameplay, I, mechanic, the gameplay is yeah. great. Same time, until they fix these issues, I'm not buying this at full price. I'm waiting no, towards yeah. the can... origin sale in a year when it's 20 bucks. The I'll wait till uh, I use, somebody throws a yeah. used copy at GameStop. <laughs> exactly. Buy it for yeah. like 45 Yeah, but uh, you got to play this game with like while it's hot, while there's so many yeah. people playing well, I'm, it. So I'm hoping. Wanna, you kind of got to get it now. It's like they fuck I'm it, looking man. for a sale, and if there's no sale, I'm probably not going to buy it. Because like, oh. yeah. I want to get it though until they I fix love the Star Wars first. I love the first. Yeah, one. it was so. Funny. No, and the thing is, this one they they fixed a lot of the issues, but then they fucked up more issues. Where yeah. it's like this whole I I'm to be fair, I'm losing my play, mind, dude. I probably would play the campaign. I do wish they'd given yeah. us a taste of the campaign Same. in the beta. Like even if it was just a small like, here's the first phase of what a like big missions gonna look like yeah, yeah like, instead of just a cool trailer man. just instead of just a trailer no you're gonna have yeah, to roll like it the, in a loot box you're gonna have to roll yeah, it do, the, the do the destiny uh, 2 uh beta thing where you just play a couple story missions and you can do your yeah, uh, uh, yeah do your other stuff your which stuff. i'm still psyched for destiny 2 even though wayne is uh deflated the fuck out of it <laughs> for me I am too, but I'm to not gonna fair, lie, I dude. I gotta the fuck out of it. No, dude, I'm I'm excited for it. I just gotta like finish Total War before then, and I know that's not gonna happen. Did you say it's gonna take you like a hundred hours or some shit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, just be yeah. right. Just be yeah, right. didn't come out till the end of the month, though. Exactly. No, I got no a, life, I got a month. No life. We'll see. We'll it. see if this can happen. I can finish. I'm gonna do a high elf campaign. See if I can finish a high elf campaign by then. No, I think the PC version might breathe some new life in it. I, I maybe I'm the minority because a couple of the, my friends that play, like they still play it. They love it. I'm so over it. Uh, I'm more on Crossy Roads. Um, <laughs> yeah, crossy Roads tip. <laughs> Until uh, next week. Is, when this it's segment crossy. has been sponsored by Crossy Roads. <laughs> is Crossy Roads the Dark Souls of mobile games? I'm just trying to save us it's because Wayne is Frogger. obviously being paid to shill this fucking Frogger <laughs> game. So I gotta, I gotta well, like try it. to pop in there and be, make sure that we don't get. Cross, Crossy sued. Roads, the game, the game of the week until next week when it's uh, Frosty Crows. <laughs> Frosty Croaks. <laughs> All right, I'll have a new mobile game for you guys next week. Um, all right, last funny little story that, that I kind of I, I we try not to bring politics into this, but you know we live in such a politically crazy time that it's hard to not talk about some things. But so we all know what's going on with the NFL players. We all know, <laughs> we all know the whole kneeling situation. So that's that's during Sunday's Colts game, Mike Pence. They staged this thing, him and Donald Trump, where Mike Pence is going to go to the game and he's going to see these players kneel and he's going to immediately leave the game and make sure he tweets every second about how he's disappointed and how he, how upset he is at these players. Hey, Mike Pence, if you're going to go to a fucking game and then immediately leave, you're a fucking loser. You're a okay. loser. Okay, what? I'm I'm just gonna. You're just, just gonna, realizing this. How crazy I'm just gonna, is this? I'm just gonna fucking redo my. I did like a little snap story because I still use Snapchat because apparently <laughs> I'm I'm in the dark ages according to Wayne. Dude, you might but, as well get a fucking MySpace page while you're at it. Uh, but hey, anyway, dude, Tom's my best friend. Okay. Yeah, you bastard. <laughs> Mike Pence is anyway, not. In he's my been Tom there. He's all. Tom has always been there. But anyway, he he was the first my first friend. But anyway. uh... <laughs> Anyway, I'm just going to like re-go over it real quick. It's like, okay, so Puerto Rico is looking like it's going to be without power for the rest of the year and food at this point. So oh, people yeah. are just abandoning their country. Oh, yeah. That's uh, we, we've, we've had natural disasters. 
a mass shooting and a rise of white nationalism Nazi movements in America. And what they did, what the Trump administration is planning to focus on is wasting about $250,000 of taxpayer money to go and protest a football game where athletes like the whole, the whole controversy is athletes protesting during a football game. So he's basically protesting the same thing that he's protesting against. Uh, I saw this Facebook post, like, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, like when all this like controversy started up and it's basically saying that uh, if you think that athletes kneeling during the anthem is protesting the flag or like disrespecting the country. That's like saying Rosa Parks was actually protesting against the Department of Transportation. Yeah. That's what you're basically saying. It's retarded. It's stupid. All this is right now is just the worst smokescreen in the history of this country oh my because God. the the administration is going so poorly that the that it's just they're just throwing up. They're just trying to latch on to anything that they can get the right wing riled up. About. Dude, think about but it. Like that's it. Think about those, like those this. F-35s, dude. Those F-35s. I know you're like, don't have power and don't give a shit, but these F-35s, dude. <sighs> Just think about oh, it like this. In the right now, in the in the Trump administration, before Sunday's game, they were they were sitting around and they're going, Hey, dude, you know what would do make, this? Uh, How these... can we get this fucking focus <laughs> off of us? <laughs> you know what would make these liberals really mad if you went to that Coles game and if when they kneel, you fucking leave. Yeah, let's spend two hundred fifty thousand dollars hiring all this security, flying this dumbass vice president who, that Mister Nobody gives a shit over here. No one even knew he was there until he got up to leave. It wasn't like they were like making this huge controversy. It was this planned, <laughs> stupid fucking PR stunt to, nope. to protest these NFL p- players who already protest. It's like it's over with. That we're let's, past that let, movement. Let's, let's go to something let's else now. Nobody even You're knew he was see. there until he started coming out against the gays and talking about how he put him in concentration <laughs> camps. And then everybody kind of noticed him. They're like, oh, that guy's kind of loud over there. He's being kind of extra. You know, here's he some, to throw uh, us into the 1950s. Good old Indiana. So. Here's some tweets. Hey, man, they want to make America great again. Here's some tweets by uh, Vice President Prince. While everyone is entitled to their own opinions, I don't think it's too much to ask NFL players to respect the flag and our national anthem. I stand with POTUS, Trump, and I stand with our soldiers, and I will always stand for our flag, our national anthem. And this is as throwing, he's throwing that I stand the with game. the soldiers bullshit is just it's just the most meander. Like just just so fucking stupid. I know troops. Yeah, we who all do. support yeah. the protesting, who support the kneeling because that's why they fought in the fucking place. Yeah. That's why no, they dude. fought. No, doobie, doobie, you see, you're wrong. Okay, <laughs> we have our wonderful. <laughs> leader uh, who glorious, definitely glorious Trump definitely stands with the troops never yeah. ever you know dodged any drafts nothing of the sort <laughs> is always just done everything for them listen now, man presidents and you know skipping out on drafts and going MIA you know during the 70s I mean that's not a surprise he's not the first president <laughs> no <laughs> Now I really quick talk about Bush. Really quick, I know that uh, I know that like I I know what the Trump administration administration stands for. I know what he stands for for a lot of people as well. So I don't want to completely go out there and say if you if you support Trump, you're a dumbass because there's a lot of people who are still hurting yeah. from a lot of these policies that have happened. And trust me, it, there's some crazy shit going on in the government, and we need a Molotov cocktail to just dismantle it all because it's crazy right now. But that being I, I, said, if you support flying the vice president out to a fucking football game to only immediately leave when he, he saw these players kneel, then you are a fucking loser as well. Hey, You're dude. A fucking yeah. loser as well if you support this I, stupid, stupid move. I still have faith in the – I still somehow – I don't know how I still have faith, but somehow I still have faith in the American people. Don't ask so, me why. Dude, Somehow, no, he, he didn't have a choice. 20, yeah. 2018 may destroy that because if they're really this, ma- if people are really this mad at the Trump administration, then in a non in a non presidential voting year, they'll go out and fucking vote. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm exactly. going out and voting uh, for a new governor because Christie's the hell out of my state. 
I'm, well, no, I still dude. have faith she in didn't... humanity, yeah. and I believe that we're actually on the longest episode of Punk ever. <laughs> <laughs> dude, great. Ashton Kutcher just no, going to pop up one day yeah, at an address and be out. like, "Got you, and he's gonna have his hat got on. you. Dude. Donald Trump was in on it the whole no, time." It's, <laughs> okay, Loco, that's finally gonna happen once Pence finally does like bad talk Trump because Pence is the only person still left in that original, you know. And he never cabin. will, dude. He never will. <laughs> he's Trump's scary, fucking. No, the, really, the, the scariest bitch. thing is I know. The people go impeach Trump. No, like, you want you want President Pence? I don't. Yeah, <laughs> it works. Oh, God. That, but yeah. <laughs> no, but here's the thing: under President Pence and a House f- and Senate full of Republicans, a lot of shit's gonna happen. Yeah, I, honestly, more than what's happening right now. Oh, so hell yeah, that dude. could be an this improvement. Is the only time I I don't know the last time I've seen a Republican president or just any president who has a party that has both the House and Senate and is a lame duck. Yeah. Can't get shit that's done. insane and, and i like i said i don't i don't discredit anyone who who supports the administration but don't this these kind of moves are so dumb man there's so many other things that need to be getting done because they <clears> haven't <throat> been able to do anything don't worry about this stupid shit you need to get some wins under your belt before you start flaunting shit like this because this was just the the most idiotic political move i've seen out of this administration in a while. This was really, Dude, really stupid. This was really dumb. This, and there's this been a was, lot of dumb shit. This was the uh, Mayweather McGregor fight. What? Wait, what does that mean? Just, it's just, everyone knows what's going to happen. The result is everyone gets money, but here's a bunch of hoorah rah about, oh, sure. <laughs> about yeah, yeah. it. Here, here's a bunch of hype. Here's like everyone being super concerned and blah, blah, blah. But here, here's he didn't a, even have to go. He could have just tweeted it out and gotten the same effect. He didn't it, have to go and do this stupid thing. And here's a bunch of, man, uh, his, his Twitter here's a bunch of ridiculous strong. people who really think that McCon- Connor's still going to win it. Why the, the, but the why, but why still going to be able to win in a boxing match? But why the Colts game? Uh, Indiana. He goes. He go, yeah, he's oh, Mike right. Pence. He's yeah. from Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He he actually. That's I think right. I think that's his thing. Is like he actually goes to all the Indianapolis Colts games. All the well, home games. as as a Titans fan, who plays in the same. How are you in New Jersey you? and you're a Titans fan? I don't. I, well, I don't know. I just. <laughs> Were you an Oilers fan? No, it was the 99 uh, Music City Miracle when I was like nine years old. It was very, yeah, it left an impression on me. And then I was, I liked I was about, them, I was about to say, man, I fucking, I live in Memphis and I'm not even a Titans fan. <laughs> <laughs> They're the closest football team I have. The, and I, I don't the Eagles, give a shit about the Eagles are my NFC team. Okay. I know Wayne lives in, you know, Cowboys fan. Yeah, but Cowboys <laughs> America's team, motherfucker. Yeah, I was. Yeah, uh, Jerry Jones, America's owner. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I would I love. Was, a, uh, I would love President Jerry Jones. President Jones, oh, God no, with that Please. wandering eye. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. With that Probably not very eye. far away from President Jerry Jones. So you laugh now. Nah, dude. No, you're dude. Just, President- we just gotta wait for the 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 next administration. The um. Uh, oh, Wayne the Rock. Child. How about how about no. the fucking What's Miami Dolphins coach? The, the video gets snorting leaked. cocaine. He's snorting cocaine, dude. dude that's fair, not even the be best fair. part about Serenating, the video. Serenading his fair. girlfriend. Yeah, the best. Be that's fair, the best part of the Miami. video. He's Wait. in Miami. What else are you gonna do in Miami? You do that, uh, in Miami. Well, he's Why not gonna destroy. He's not gonna <laughs> because he destroyed his life in, in fifty seconds. <laughs> yeah. oh, he, I dude, mean, like, let's be honest. It's not like the GM to the uh, was it the GM or the owner of the the Colts who was a huge drug addict. Uh, I don't know, but oh, Chuck it's Pagano? not like the oh, no. owner of the Pacers <laughs> being a huge racist. Wasn't that the Pacers? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> no, no, that was Clippers. No. Was it Clippers? It was a, it was, it was did, California. Did, it was a California team. Who does? I'm pretty sure. Boy, boy. I don't watch basketball, so I got no idea. Anyway, who are you talking about? Uh, that never mind. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. I can't I remember. Got, but hey, Blake, who does Blake Griffin play for? Or he was playing for that team during the time. Blake Griffin Clippers? is a basketball player. Uh, it would be yes. the Clippers, yeah. I Clippers. believe. Yeah. LA Clippers. Clippers. Okay, yeah, so it was, then the it was the Clippers yeah. owner. It was the Clippers owner. Then. Oh, the, oh, yeah, the racist that. one? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He did yeah. super racist stuff. All right, I but got anyway, it right. But anyway, so regardless, like, 
the the best part about that video is not even him doing cocaine. It's just like the crazy shit he was like, he's hey, saying. Baby. He's Remember like, oh, I, get high old. <laughs> I, I wanna. I really wish that instead of going to this meeting, I was licking this cocaine off your pussy. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? And then he's like, I know we can't keep doing this because you're gonna keep the baby. It's like, what the fuck? Is this shit? <laughs> it's like a Jerry Springer episode. Was great. Dude, this is like legit a soap opera. Dude, in they like should have promoted seconds. him to fucking owner after yeah. seeing that video instead of. They should just him. promoted him to PR, dude. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, dude. No, nah, dude, he's gonna become a. Uh, Jay Cutler's personal trainer. So it's yeah. whenever Jay Cutler actually has to go to Wildcat, he's not just standing there. He gives Dude. him a line, gives him a little bump. And he's standing there smoking Jay a cigarette. Just Jay yeah. Cutler's out there with a cigarette. He's smoking Jay, dude. All right, we got to close this. We're two hours up. Thank you all for listening to the No Life Gaming Show. We'll catch you guys next week, and I'll have a new mobile game to review. Actually, the whole next show will be a mobile game review. All right? Love you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>